Greetings, everyone, <laughs> and welcome to a very special shooting the shit edition <laughs> of Monster Party. Monster Party. <laughs> Monster Party. <laughs> it's 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 crazy. We're loose. We're, we're loose. We're, we're, we're genius. We're kind of. You, kind of we're in the baggy jeans. That's right. <laughs> it's. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know, but it, it made me laugh. I just picture you in parachute pants. Okay, and then speaking of shoot pants, who are you, sir? Okay, I'm Matt Weinhold. I'm Sean Sheridan. I'm Larry Strove. And I'm James Conus. And for this episode, the topic is Anything Goes the Reckoning, because we can't remember how many of these we've done. <laughs> and we are welcoming back a very special guest. We've done a number of the Anything Goes episodes. Yep. And so we wanted to do another one, but we needed the right person to do this with. Someone who we can just kind of just roll with. Yes. And so we we have the perfect person. She is like almost another member of the show. Sure. She's a friend of mine. She's a friend of yours. She's brilliant. She's writer, director, producer, comedian, actor, chef. She can do all of it. Oh, and let's not forget, she's, uh, she's not too hard on the eyes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Sue Murphy. Sue Murphy. Thank you. I'm really glad to be here. I like Matt's interpretation of the face I was making as hard on the eyes, so I, I appreciate that. Well, yeah. Sue, thanks, thanks for being with us. Hold yeah. on, I'm going to take my temperature. To see if <laughs> you know, yes, yes, How you doing? We, where we are still in uh, Nine, eight, stay eight. at home yeah. mode, yes. and and mm -hmm. Sue did the right thing. She took her temperature before we got started. <laughs> Very yeah. important because who knows how this thing can travel, right? Yeah. How, many, how sure. many times do you guys wash your hands during the podcast? Oh. <laughs> Wait, during the podcast? Yeah. For some of the people here, that hasn't really changed too much because I think there's a little. A little, a little OCD? Bit, yeah, a little OCD happening. <laughs> I've got a whole now, container of, of uh, I almost said lube. <laughs> I have a whole container <laughs> of... Oh, you know, don't change here. it. Don't change it. You know you have a container <laughs> no, of lube no, there. No, no, no. I don't have a container of lube, but I have a, a whole container of the... the sanitizer. Sanitizer stuff. This is going so well. You it know really what? That's, that's perfect for a COVID prank show. Where yeah. uh, you put a big container that says hand sanitizer, you know, when people walk into a store, but it's lube. And they do it, they go, what? And then you laugh and you rip off your mask and you charge them. Hey, I, want, I want to see the reverse of that in like a uh, porn thing uh -huh. where the lube is replaced with sanitizer and it's, ah! <laughs> But, you know, this is great talking about lube and sanitizer. <laughs> but what do you say we hey, get into goes. it? Yeah. Well, well, anything goes within the world of science fiction, fantasy, and That's horror. True. And I know we were touching base a little bit about Star Trek earlier. Free show. Mm. We were talking yeah. a little bit about the Star Trek. And one of the James things Gino. that we love so much about Sue Murphy is that she loves Star Trek. Like we do. Yes. Well, like she's, most of us she's do. A, she's a diehard Trekkie. I still don't understand what problem James has with Star Trek. That <laughs> it like doesn't capture his imagination. I just don't get it. James, is that true? Or is it, it's more like you just didn't get around to it. You didn't have time. What, what is it? It's on my queue. It's, uh, it's on my queue. To it is quite a formidable to thing to get through now. With, kind of like Doctor Who. Like if you haven't seen no, it yet. No, it's not. People... No, but I like to watch all the series and the well, movies. All of them, yeah. But to start yeah. with the 60s one, yeah, it's got all one, the things that yeah. you love. That's it's got template. that swinging 60s sensibility and uh, yeah. interesting stories, especially within Optimistic the context of the train. time. Yeah. yeah. Now, and, now. And, 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 and strangely objectified women that are always... Yes, all the stuff we love. In the future, <laughs> they're wait, all wait, wearing... Wait, skirts. They're all wait, like, oh, she, he's the, he, she's the daughter of the leader of the cloud people, and she comes around the corner, and she just has a handkerchief around her neck sort of wrapped around I, her. Yeah, right. I, no. I, I love go, that episode. I love that yeah. episode, and she's beautiful. It doesn't like... What, uh, so, what, are, little, so, what are little so, girls made of? You'll get with it. This yeah, is hey, I love, I love Star Trek. I'm trying to get James to watch it. Do you understand what <laughs> this is? 
he keeps saying it. I, I've known James now for what, what, 18, 19 years? Yes, <laughs> that's about it. Okay. Yeah. You're going, in Star Trek, it's not like it's new on the landscape. It's been around <laughs> since the 60s. And he's like, I'll get around to it. Yeah, I don't know. Like, get around yeah. to it. I'm just telling you, there's some hot pieces of green lizard lady ass on there. You all over the place. Yeah. Out. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm intrigued. I'm yeah. Intrigued. If you could borrow, <laughs> if you could borrow Larry's jar of lube. <laughs> just sit down with the blue rays. You can't, yeah, you can't you got, do that. Yeah. This jar of lube came from Costco. You got to rent a truck to get that thing out of there. <laughs> you know, and speaking of which, I just so happen to have a classic oh, Star Trek you. comic Ooh. book here. Oh, you know, yeah. actually, great Sue, shape. can I? I want to ask you: Do you have the Blu-ray set where they have the enhanced effects? Of the no, classic series. No, I don't. And that's why, you know, I'm not really a Trekkie. I just grew up, I mean, because a Trekkie would be collect, I don't collect things. But you're <gasps> just a fan, but you're a huge fan of the original show. But I'm you a know fan the of the original series. I'm a fan. I, I have never watched Deep Space Nine, and everyone has told me I need to do it. James, right, right. get off my back if you text me one what? more. What? <laughs> You've never watched DS9? But, but, I but you, I would just say. I, so, but. I love all that stuff. Uh, my sister at some point gave me the box set that of the blueprints. Oh of yeah, Enterprise. Ooh. And I so you can build I your own Enterprise. You, Matt. I thought I gave them to you. Wait, you gave them to Matt? Yeah, you gotta give those back to her, Matt. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't Are you th- sure you think so? But it's uh, the blueprints of yeah. all the different enterprise and all the decks, and it yeah. comes in a big box set. Wow, that's cool. right. gives it I did give you the um, the cookie jar. Yes, which was lovely. Because but, my sister yeah. has attempted to me to gift these things, and I just don't populate my area. But yeah, I no, I don't have a lot of that stuff. But, but Sue, I was just going to say that, like, if you're so familiar with the classic show and such a fan, and no, no, Matt and I have talked about this a lot. The Blu-ray that came out several years back, what's really cool is they sl- just slightly enhanced, improved the special effects with like the ships and stuff like that, the yeah. planets, but not not overdone at not all. Not over like, the top. Not, no. I, when we first heard they were doing this, like, oh no, leave it uh, alone. Yeah. But yeah. but no, they do a really good job, and it's kind of like watching really the original classic episodes, kind of anew. You know, right. for, for the for first example. Time. For example, I'd like to um, c- uh, quote William Wyndham on this. He goes, <laughs> "Don't you think I know that?" <laughs> and like see, for example, for example, that one. a really cool little tiny tiny detail that they added in Arena. They have the gore and blink his eyes. <gasps> and it's oh, cool. It works, cool. Though, but not overdone. Oh. Just every once in a while. And it just what adds a little. Planet Eater? What about Planet Eater? Does yes, the enhanced the, 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 the Doomsday, Doomsday Machine is cooler. It's the same, but just more realistic, more detailed. It, it, it still looks up, like a bugle, a, right? Yeah, it looks but, like a bugle. Right. It still no, looks like a space a, bugle. It looks like a, a space. It, it looks, you mean like the, the snack, the bugle? Yeah, the bugle. The yeah, it's, it's, a, it's yeah, a bugle. Okay. It's, it was based, Gene Roddenberry based it on the bugle snack. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but he, I'm sure he did. What if but I no, put a sparkler in a bugle? <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't it, doesn't it, isn't part of what you love about it is what the original looked but like? But they keep the, it really close. Like it, it's not jarring, see, which I thought it would be. It's, I'm telling you, if you, you got to check them out because it's the, really cool. Yeah. The problem with the original effects is that because they were rushing to get this thing on the air, they had to rush the special effects. And back in the day, as I'm right. sure we all know, they had optical printers doing the special effects and they were just running these things at just constantly. And so they didn't really have a lot of time to thoroughly clean them. So right. when you see these shots of the Enterprise, there's hairs and pubes and all yeah, kinds of yeah. things just <laughs> well, all they, over the place. That's because I think the optical effects machines were very sexually attractive <laughs> to those who were doing it. And thus... You're going to get a pubic hair or two. Oh, in okay. Of look. course kind you like, are. Kind of like of a Xerox machine you where you put your butt and get, make a Xerox. Look, look, look. Yeah. No, for, for, There's yeah. nothing like office hijinks like, with yeah. some yeah. people. Effect You're a something. lonely special effects guy. Yeah. And <laughs> you see. Three in the morning, you just see that optical printer and you're just like, you oh, know that thing wants look, it. But, I just but, want to clarify, okay. if anyone here has actually used an optical printer, which I have, okay, <laughs> you're not like – 
you did know, you use that? How much lube did you use on that? <laughs> so I, I'm just saying that you, you know you guys think that oh you got some big hairy guys like shake you know you know shaving his chest over that no 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 guys when when you're doing optical printing it's it it, it it's, you're very aware of dirt and stuff and you have a little uh, a, like there's like a little spritzer or a little fan that goes. Psh, 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 psh. But, but am I wrong? Oh, about oh come on, tell me more about it. What were you wearing when you were using that? What were you, what'd you have on, Larry? With a okay. little spritzer in your optical printer. No, <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, listen. What were you printing? It, it, well, spandex it's overalls. Little, it's little spacings, little spacings. Yeah. But but you people are very aware of dust. You were boxers and dirt. or briefs? Sue, please. Yes, boxer you know, briefs. Where? Yeah, I don't think that has anything to do with the optical printer, but <laughs> but, but, but you agree with it's me. It's air, don't you? Don't and, you? and yet, yes, yes, it <laughs> is true because of the pace and because you're you're trying to do this stuff fast. Yeah, yeah. You're not doing that all the time. And, and it was yeah. the '60s. It was a, but Sue, what's great about the, the release other of thing, Blu-rays? Well, just one thing is that every episode is in its classic original version as well as the enhanced. Yeah, so you can so watch the, whichever yeah, version so you want. You have the option. Yeah. Yeah, and also, cool. people need to remember that when these things were done, number one, when they came out in 66, 67, 68, not everyone had a color TV, number one. Number True. two, no Tiny, one thought, probably. everyone also, they realized, look, no one's going to notice this because your TV is only so big. Right. They never thought the day would come when people would have these giant widescreen TVs right. and then be in color and stuff. Right. So, so all these little flaws, though, that we grew up with when they showed the, you know, the, the reruns and stuff, I mean, you just, you just loved it. I love, also, I love that also stuff I would now, say though. they never knew that this was going to last this long. No, no way. No. You know what I mean? It's like they weren't making a show that's going, I wonder what's going to think about this in 2020. Yeah, I, really well, I mean, Doctor Who, the original Doctor Who's, when they were making those, they got to a point where they were like, okay, let's erase these because yeah, we can use right. the tape over again. Yeah. <clears throat> and mm. no one was thinking, you know, VHS or rentals or any of that Anything, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I, I, w- I will say, though, that, so, Sue, you're saying I'm not a collector. I don't collect the stuff. But I think you do have a few things. She has a couple things. You, and, oh, and, yeah. But, but no, you don't I have put, you very don't put them on things. a sh- I'm, I'm just saying I, I don't have a Blu-ray. I don't have. Do you, have um, a, you don't have a Blu-ray player. Yeah. There you go. For one reason, I love tripping over an old Star Trek episode if I'm on TV. Okay. That's my, it's like one of those things where you feel like with a zillion channels and you have that Mm -hmm. one, that moment where you go, there's nothing I want to watch. Isn't that ridiculous? Mm -hmm. There's so much, there's nothing. And there's a weird channel. It's like in the twenties that's on direct TV. Oh like, yeah, we used to be like me TV, I think. Or something. And out of the blue, all of a sudden I turn on, it was the original Star Trek followed by the next generation, followed by an original, followed by I couldn't have been happier, but that only, la- you know, I couldn't, I could only do it for a period of time. There's something I like having it be only available occasionally. It's right. like the Shawshank Redemption. <clears throat> I'll watch that movie from beginning to end, no matter where I see it. Yeah. If I own it, I won't watch it. But if I'm <laughs> yeah. flipping around yeah. cable <laughs> channels and I land on, I know I'm not going to make it outside. The only thing that's keeping me here is that a promise I made to Andy. And I'm like, holy <laughs> fuck, I'm in. <laughs> that could be a good episode, by the way. One where it's like the movie that you'll watch if it's on. Oh, I, you have I, to I watch. I would ask that question. You have to. <clears throat> well, why not just ask the question right now? Just pick one movie. <gasps> oh, my. Okay. Mm, one know. movie. Not, and, and I know there's more than one. But does it have to be genre? I don't care. Any movie that you see, that if you sit down and you're like, I don't know what I'm going to watch, and you kind of turn it on and you go through your cable channels, mm. and if you happen on it, you go, okay, I'm just going to watch to the next scene. And yeah. then before you know I, it. I would say uh, for me, one. One, one for me would be Willy Wonka. That's you a good one. That's a magical movie to me. And I, yeah, if it's on, you know, oh, on cable, a, like, like, you know, I know, I know the movie backwards and forwards by heart, but I, you know, I love it, you know. With Gene mm-hmm. Wilder, right? Yeah, of course. Not, yes, oh, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. All I need is him walking out those gates when he tripped yeah. and fell. Yeah, it's just every, so every good. Yeah. So, so great. good. Yeah. You know, this this may sound kind of weird, but it's like if I'm flipping through the channel suit and I come across this one particular film that may not be considered to be the greatest film, but it's like it's like just like what you said. I go, oh, I got to watch that scene. Oh, and then it leads me to another scene. And you know what that is? Fifth Element. The Fifth Element. Oh, really? 
I thought really? about that today. I because the funny, th- the funny thing, the funny thing is, Luke was. I mean, if you look at that film, it's so colorful. Well, vi- visually, and, it is quite a vibrant. I mean, and yeah, yeah, and it's you know, it, you know, Bruce Willis and the and and the Lilu, oh, you know, I mean, <laughs> and and the little creatures. I mean, it's so colorful and creative that it's one of those things where oh, I, I got to watch that. Now, now granted, That's the villain is a little goofy. Well, yeah, some you of those know? characters are so grating, but, <laughs> but visually, I agree that it's visually it's amazing. beautiful. It's amazing. Everything else drives me insane. No, but, yeah, I mean, Larry, I, I, I thought. I, I, I have a question connected to this movie, but that's really interesting. Yes, it is. Yeah. Later, I thought for sure you were going to say Creature from the Black Lagoon. Well, but look, look, I understand what Sue is saying, though. Sue is saying, look, if you're going through the channels, you know, yeah, um, yeah. if I said Creature, you're guys, all of you guys are going to go, oh, I'm just saying, typically, it's, yeah, it's, like, there, seems to be, there seems to be a, a, like a, a variety of films, like, like whether it's science fiction, fantasy, or horror, that they will, like, whether it's... Uh, yeah, I don't know, Freeform or MeTV or whatever. That they have these films that come on. I've noticed that Fifth Element, anytime it comes on, it's like I stop and I go, oh, because of what I just explained. Mm. How it's yeah. like com- okay. comfort food. It's a kind of visual comfort okay. food. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's okay. an interesting choice, though. <laughs> yeah. Okay, James, you're, um, you're on the block right now. Godfather 1 and 2. Uh, AMC shows them all the time. And I could just tune in at any time. And then I'm just, I'm just there. You know, I could, I I'd could agree with that for, for yeah, four or five hours. That, that would be on my yeah. list. The only thing that's it, the only thing that's be interesting though that Larry and James, you watch, see for me, I can't watch stuff on commercial TV though. If I, like a, like a movie like Willy Wonka, I would never watch with commercials and banners across the screen. Like no way. If it's on cable or like that, then, I, but like, I, I can't if I'm do something. You do is if I'm you doing pause something. it, you pause yeah. it. And well, you no, let I it get a 45 oh, minutes sure, ahead yeah, of you. But, yeah, but then it's like, I want the flow free. And, you know, I mean, yeah. I have the, I obviously <laughs> I have the Blu-ray, but like still. If it's I'm like cleaning cool. the house, I don't, I don't pay attention to that If you're stuff. ironing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, when, yeah. I, when I'm doing all my ironing. Wait, wait, hold on a sec. Sean, I, I'm aware of your wardrobe. Have you ever ironed anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Who irons here? Raise your okay, hand. Okay, now we're, we're not moving on until I get my okay. shot here. Okay, no, no, oh, but yeah, I just true. wanted to say, James, I want to come yeah, back in on this. I, James, got a, I got one that's in science fiction world. Wait, Ooh. that's what I was going to say, okay. James. Okay, I get it. The what Godfather, about your what genre? genre? What about the genre one? Yeah, you must have a genre one. Oh, my God. Um, well. Why are you on this show? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, James, let's talk to Matt and let's let you think about it for a sec. Okay, you know, Matt, you know Matt what? You know what? And don't pick, and don't pick when Harry met Sally. It's, it's Jaws. Jaws, <laughs> Jaws oh, yeah, J- doesn't John. matter what All right, Jaws all right. Is, okay, yes. I'll accept yes. that. There. Totally, yeah. totally. Excellent yeah. choice. I I'll would, I would be the same way. That's yeah, a good one. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, oh, for me, mm-hmm. for me, I would, for genre, aliens. I can watch mm. Aliens at any point. That's cool. That's I cool. think that movie is great all the way through. And I can also watch a bunch of it and then go off and do something and mm. then come back in a different <clears throat> place. I know that movie so well. They're yeah. in the room. So They're in the room. You're reading it wrong. I'm not reading it wrong. They're five minutes <laughs> away. You're reading it wrong. I'm not reading it wrong. And you missed that one? <laughs> that's the one. That's good. Yeah, that's a good this one. I don't know if you're keeping score, but we just got our asses kicked. Help. <laughs> Dueling aliens. Okay. That's good. Okay. The non-genre name, name one. The I got... Name the comedian. Name the comedian in Aliens. Well, Paul Reiser. Paul Reiser. There you Paul go. Reiser okay. in his greatest role. Yeah, yeah. he's great yeah. in that. He has he's never been to play better that. than in that role. Yeah. He he should have played heavies for the rest. Of yeah. The yeah. He was you know, so it, good. You know, it's so funny. You should bring that up, Matt, because. Wasn't it after Aliens? Then he went on to do that series with Helen Hunt. Yeah, mad, yeah. mad about you. Okay, yeah. and I could never watch it because yeah. I could never yeah. trust the guy. No, I'm just saying, <laughs> I could never trust yeah. the guy. Yeah, I'm thinking, you know, Helen Hunt, you you are going to be dead soon. <laughs> no. he's, gonna, yeah. he's he's watching Mad About You, yelling a scream, get out. Get out of there, Helen. <laughs> it was a bad call, Helen. Bad call. <laughs> bad call. Sue, Ripley. what about you? Hey, wait a minute. Here's oh, my I'm non... Kidding. I got to throw in a non-genre one. Okay. And this yeah. is one that I must watch if it's on. And this will maybe surprise you because it has to do with sports. Wow. <clears throat> the Longest Yard. Oh, yeah. Oh, the yeah. original oh, wait, 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 wait. Longest Yard original? with Burt Reynolds. Oh, there you go. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. None That's of this Adam Sandler stuff. 
Sorry, but right, right. now, do you know when you watch it? Do you know what's going on? I have like, no idea football? what they're doing. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, I have to. Every time I watch it, I have to look up football. No, Sue, don't get me wrong. Here. I mean, it's like Matt in sports; they're just not in the same, you know. Well, I know world. Matt, Matt and I have known each other for thirty-five years, I believe, at this yeah. point. Yeah, and I am a huge sports fan. If you if you want to see what I collect, it's baseballs and and uh, all that. Oh, sort what of did stuff. I give you, Sue? A ball. I gave. I gave. <laughs> Sue. Oh, he gave me a because I'm a Giants fan. <clears throat> is my home team. He San Francisco. Gave me, San Francisco. Um, he gave me a, the Star Trek Enterprise on a sort of a swivel, sitting on a base that's the baseball. <gasps> oh, no. so it's like it, it's hovering a baseball. A it's giant hovering space. a baseball. Oh, it's, it's, like, it's on my. It's orbiting. on the top of my piano. Oh, I've got to see yeah. that. And Sue, just really quickly. You want me to go get it? I'll go show you. One of my one of my favorite I'll Godzilla my items baseball. is it's Godzilla. It's a god plastic Godzilla figure. He's about this big, and he's in a giant's uniform. And I didn't. Uh-huh. Japan giants, and, right? And, but but see, that's the thing. James pointed out we were in Japan. Wait, this the the San Francisco Giants. Well, he's wearing a giant's uniform. But it's from Japan. But the uniforms are just like the ones in San Francisco. Are they so orange and me, black? Is that yeah, it's, or, it's orange it's, and it's, black. It's, baseball is it's, huge it's, in Japan, right? Yeah, it's I, the I'm, sister, I'm really, the sister don't, team. Hey, listen, Sean, don't step into baseball. You're really stepping a dangerous story with me. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> so there's, there's baseball in Japan. Uh, <laughs> yes, but James, um, you were saying there was a there was a famous there was a famous baseball player in Japan, right? And he he would hit these big home runs. And they wasn't he nicknamed like Godzilla? Or, Godzilla, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So anyway, I have an actual. Wait a minute, what's, a, what's a home run? It's a big yeah, when one. You, when you you hit the ball and it goes out of the park and you walk around all you run around and all the bases. Net, right? Wow! And that's and that's how you, and, and Matt, that's how you score points. Hey, okay, but what okay. does that have to do with the Enterprise? No, okay. Okay, I got a movie. I got a, okay, Matt hasn't given us a genre movie, but I got another one I'll throw out. No, I there. gave you aliens. No, you did aliens. Oh, okay. Aliens. Well, I'm, I'm with you. By the way, every single one that you guys have mentioned, I feel the same way. Now, this is going to be a little dicey. I don't know. But okay. what I come into, because it's a modern uh, sci-fi, Edge of Tomorrow. Oh, oh yeah. I love that movie. I like that one. Yeah. yeah. It's a good movie. And yeah. I'll just, when I come into it, I'll go, oh, I want to see them do the thing and the thing and then what they get to. And then I go, oh, I'll just wait till they get to the Louvre. No, nah, I can't. I got to do it. To, oh, so. Yeah, but you know, it's funny that, that you brought up that one because that's one that I feel like I that's, need to that, see from the beginning. If anyone doesn't know what the, that is, that's, that's the one with Tom Cruise and yeah. Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt. <clears throat> and yeah. they keep going, resetting time. It's like a sci-fi Groundhog right. Day. We talked yeah. about that yeah. recently. Yeah. Yes, we yeah. did. And, and, and it's, it, Great I'm movie. with you. I'm with you, Sue. It, it's, and if you feel like if you came into the middle, you know, you'll be able to figure out what's going on. Because well, also, kinda, I know it so well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just, mm-hmm. you know, I'm just like, Oh, watch it. I also don't, when I know a movie really well, I'll turn on my TV. I don't mind. I'll like be cooking and I'll listen to, I'll listen to the film and I see it in my head while I'm doing something mm-hmm. else. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Matt, I sense your sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny because that was the one time I was being sincere. Hey, oh, Sue. Really? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Sue. I, I can't I get want- this right. I do want to ask you because you're you're like a baseball fan, and people are going to go. I, I oh. am a big baseball fan. I hey. go to spring training every year, oh. except for this year. The week I was supposed to go is the week they canceled spring training. Oh, oh. I know it's not. That's so sad compared to the people who have died. <laughs> what? Well, on, I, 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 I just wanted to say, Sue. So you know, there is a there is a baseball film out there that kind of goes into the genre world and. How do you feel about the film Field, Field of, of Dreams? Dreams? Yeah. Well, Field of Dreams is a great movie. Mm-hmm. And, and, and Matt, I will say this. I know you're not a baseball fan. I like that movie. But, but, but I don't love yeah, it. Yeah, I like the movie. I mean, what do you mean you don't? Although you, I will, point, don't out, it. <clears throat> I will yeah. point out Ray Liotta in it, who plays uh, Shoeless oh. Joe Jackson. He's and so great. He, He's he so plays, scary. He plays Shoeless Joe. And he turns around at one point and says, yeah, you know, someone's out. I can't remember. He goes, uh, wanted to play. But um, we told him to stick it because we never liked him. And he goes, 
<laughs> and you go, yeah. all right, shoeless. All right, back off. Something's really <laughs> creepy. This is a creepy. It was Ty, it was Ty Cobb. It was Ty, Ty wasn't it Ty, Ty Cobb? Cobb won, uh, Ty, well, and, you know, Ty, Ty Cobb famously was a big asshole in baseball. Yes. And he, like, he was a dirty people. player. Yeah, dirty player. When he comes out of the corn, when Ray Liotta, when Ray Liotta comes out of the corn, I, I'm just, I'm like, oh my God, he's going to kill everyone. Okay, he's, okay. Talk no, about no, no, people no, no. who need no, no, to no, commit no. to playing bad guys. Now, let he me just say, to commit to what, playing bad no, guys. when I saw that movie, Sue, when I saw that movie, this is before Goodfellas. Okay, he wasn't Mr. Goodfella guy. He was just he was just a working actor, and I had never it was seen something him. wild. You didn't see I, him in something, something wild. wild. Yeah, no, yeah. No, the, one no, of the scariest yeah. performances of all time. I'm just oh, saying. I'm true. just saying that my first experience with Ray Liotta was seeing that film, and I thought he was. I didn't know who he was, and to me, he was Shoeless Joe Jackson. You have and no then, sense no, of no. danger <laughs> whatsoever. He, like you will get us all creepy. killed. I have ever, too creepy. Yeah. I have a sense of danger. Yeah, if we're on some, <laughs> yeah, if we get stuck somewhere and they're like, hey, this guy offered us a ride. Let's take it. Like, oh, no. Oh, it, it, you'll be that thinking, guy. I'm going to be the guy sweeping up pills on stage that people throw their <laughs> hair, Matt, here, take yeah. these pills. No, not that well, kind of danger. No, no. no, we're talking about you go, well, he seems friendly. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I just think. Uh, Sue. It's like, okay, I had, I was in, um, where well, I was at the time in Brazil at some point and I got in a taxi and I woke up the taxi driver and he woke up and then he goes, oh, and he, all of a sudden I realized he had a gun on his lap. Do you get in the car <laughs> or do you not get in the he car? He was probably protecting himself, you know. I, I see, like, he would get in the car. The be- I got in the car too. You would get us all killed. <laughs> see, you know, it's funny. Uh, okay, you know, you bring up a good point. You know what was on today was Hostel. It was on oh, I like Hostel. And, and I've never seen it. Well, it's it, it, you, it, you it's like a horror movie. I yeah, you would movies. like it. Yeah, yeah, but it's but it is a good movie. It's pretty effective though. But you know, I, I don't like those. I don't like Saw. I don't like. I don't like those human just, centipede. He, the torture. Yeah, he, films. No, but the human centipede though is fat. I would not watch that. Although because I just all have to do is think about it, and it makes me ill. But but <laughs> but it's pretty sexy movies, when you watch it though. But torture movies. <laughs> I'm not yeah. talking about horror movies, like I'm scared and someone's trapped or going I, like this. You, I'm, yes, it's like, like I have torture. you and I'm going to <clears throat> physically torture you. I don't get that at all. No. I not. think a torture movie is something like the movie Working Girl, where it's torture <laughs> to get <laughs> through it. No, no, no. Working Girl. Oh, okay, no. Look, that it's, movie, different, it's a that, different kind of movie. suspense, though. That kind of like, okay. You know, like, okay, when will this well. thing get good? Okay, look, okay, <laughs> this is great, but I actually had a question about Jaws, and maybe I could ask our Jaws expert here. All right, okay. go. I heard something, and Sue, maybe you've heard of this, and it's something I never thought about. But do you remember when Hooper, he and Brody go out to, and it's all foggy outside. They go out in the boat and they go under to see, to see what's wrong with. There was a boat that they found that seems like it's abandoned. Right. And, right. There's this and they release. find a body in it. Yeah. That's right. right. And so my, so my first thought was, oh my gosh, the shark, you know, attacked the boat and ate the guy, but he, he didn't eat the guy. Some people have suggested that it was Quint that went out and killed the guy. It was what? actually a murder. It was actually Whoa. a murder. And then Quint shoved the guy down on the why? But why? why? James, because have you read the book? Comp, 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 yeah. I, is it in the James, book? James? No, I don't remember that in the book. So you that, can, so, that sounds like those theories in that room 237. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, exactly. Putting all these it things... It, it well, doesn't make exist. any sense. It doesn't make no, any it doesn't. sense because it has but, nothing. To, it has but, nothing. To, that has but, nothing to do about the moving the story forward because that doesn't have anything. You know, if you're writing, agree. But but Sue, you know, when the the head pops out, the head is attached to a body, and that, so we don't know if there's an arm or a leg that's bitten off. So then you think to yourself, but it's also been in the water. Could have been chomped on by other fish and things in the sea for that long too. I mean, it was right. just deteriorating. That's that's the whole. Uh, yes, one thing I did hear about that scene is that when they were doing test screenings of the of Jaws, that they went over that scene again and again just to like cut a couple frames here and there to get the timing of when that body comes out just right. And I have to say. Seeing that film for the first time, when that happens, I mean, I just leapt out of my Yeah. Seat. Well, I also yeah. heard, James, tell me if this is correct, that Spielberg or Universal, whatever, really pushed the limit of the PG rating. Because I remember seeing that in theaters, too. And that was a PG movie. And you yeah. see it, you see it, a, a, an, an actual leg 
Yes. Yeah. yeah. Floating down, and you see that that head. I mean, that's it's kind of R-rated territory in some of the yeah, shock yeah. But, but they would always been looser with with violence as they are to sexual content. True. Right. You, true, show, you true. show one boob, and it's R. Yeah. You yeah. show someone getting chomped on and eaten by a shark. It's right. PG. Or it's profanity. True, yeah. You say the you say the F word. Automatic R back then. Yeah. yeah. If you go you, fuck, you, you look show that, a that guy. Leg. That guy just got fucking his leg bit by that fucking shark. <laughs> See, now so you, you get scenes like that. You, you get you scenes just, like Jeepers. I'm sawing his leg off. <laughs> See, now, Sue, now you just made us a, a rated R uh, show right now. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't fucking mean to do that. You know, it's funny you bring <laughs> up the violence because there was a shot. There was a shot that was removed from Jaws that yeah. the adult would, would put it over the R, and it's a shot. It's the little boy, and he's on the, 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 the little oh. rap. The shot is the shark actually comes up and you see him come and he grabs the boy and the whole the whole head like brings him into the water. Wow. And he, and oh. and they thought and, that was too yeah. much. And also wasn't in the novel, James, doesn't Hooper like have an affair with Brody's yes. wife or something, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, they have a lunch together, and then it get they have this conversation. They have a hot lunch, really hot, steamy. <laughs> oh my god, there's nothing like lunch. You know, the, the last <laughs> time I had lunch with Larry, he showed up with this huge bottle of Lou. But I oh, thought, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. hey, 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 talk, talk about chum. Mm. <laughs> okay, I I would probably have brought some Star Trek figures or something to show off. <laughs> and Lou. I, I don't I don't remember that that affair being consummated in the novel, but it's hinted at as if it's going to happen. It doesn't work. It doesn't fit. It's no, 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 no. What was eventually? Especially with Dreyfus. (laughs) Oh yeah, (laughs) no, no, no. no. (laughs) And uh, yeah. I got a question, Larry. You brought up um, that Bruce Willis movie with yeah, the Fifth Element. The Fifth Element. How do you guys feel about comedy in sci-fi? I think that there are. I mean. There's comedy movies that have a sci-fi element, and then you mm-hmm. have sci-fi movies that have an occasional comic moment in them. Right. And yes. I think that there's <clears> certain <throat> times it really works, and there's certain times that you're just like, oh, sure. no, let's not do that. <laughs> right. Like like in uh, something like Spaceballs, which is strictly, that's a comedy. You're going to go see this sci-fi space comedy. And my feeling with Spaceballs, I don't know, Matt maybe feels a little differently about it. But no, I'm probably me, the same way. I, I, don't think, the, I don't even think of that as sci-fi. I think of that as strictly oh no, straight no. ahead parody. No. Oh, but it's, not even, it's a it's, Mel Brooks comedy more than a sci-fi that, movie. The problem yeah. with that movie is that the parody is done by somebody who doesn't really understand what they're parodying. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, Sue, the, I would say a great example is one that you've talked about before is Galaxy Quest. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. I tell you, oh, that's, that would be on my list. I come into Galaxy Quest anytime. I yes. Watch the rest my, of my, my wife is the same way. Yeah. Do yeah. you think that, I mean, I don't look at that film necessarily as a comedy though. I, I, it's great. And it's got comical elements it's a comedy, so it's a comedy. It's a com- that's it's a comedy, a comedy. comedy. With, a comedy. That's, that's based on sci-fi it's you just know, not it's broad a- comedy it's a comedy based in its own realism within its universe yeah it's, which is still kind of my favorite kind galaxy is quex is broad it's you know well, it's, it's broad but it's not like airplane style comedy no it's, it's you're right you know what yeah. i mean it's not like absurd surrealist comedy well what about like the movie paul with um that, you know uh, i, I could never like through that, that. yeah that it, they try so hard to be all like it's, hip and and, and, and yeah. subversive and it doesn't work at all so i was surprised i was really disappointed with the people you know what yeah, i, I liked it i liked it no, i didn't like okay. it okay now yeah. I, james let me just chime in here for me it's kind of the alien would it have been would it have been that difficult to actually have instead of having the cgi have like an actual ET alien, you know, uh, like an actual physical alien. I would have liked that. Maybe that would have made it more interesting. I don't know if it would have made what it you, a better movie. What are you movie talking about? In, what are you talking in, about? In, in, Paul. In, Paul. in Paul. Yeah, it was all CGI. Yeah. I don't think yeah, it would have made a difference. No. I mean, there's stuff that fall apart on it, but it's 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 amusing. There are moments I'll, I like. I'll, I'll, I like the cast, but again. it's, yeah. It's no Ice Pirates, I'll tell you that. <laughs> See, I actually like Ice Pirates. Uh, I like Ice Pirates. Uh, <laughs> it's not it's a good movie. Sure, it's just but raggedy I, kind I of like... I don't know Ice Pirates. Do I have to write that down? Yeah, write yeah, that down. Robert, Robert, Robert Eric is in it. Sue, Sue, look. That's look, no good. I, I, I want us it's, to be friends. It's funny. I'm not going to... I'm Because I know you're very sharp. You're very... You like your comedy smart. 
if I say to you, go see Ice Pirates, you're gonna be so mad at me. Well, yeah, it's not exactly no, no, smart. No. It's, yeah. it's just stupid. It's I stupid. like it's a real stupid. bad movie too. You know, you well, that, oh, well, then you're you're in love. Then see Ice Pirates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, right. uh, Sue. Yeah. We both really enjoy the Orville. Yes, and I was I'm I hoping it's make, coming make back. Is it supposed <clears throat> to come back? Yeah, I can't wait. I love that show. I, I, I really, have to watch really that. like that show. Now that's a show that is. Bill does comedy, but actually it really works as a Star Trek show. In fact, I think it's more of a Star Trek show than the Star Trek shows that are on right now. Oh, absolutely. It is, it, it is more true to the, the precepts of what the, the yeah. Star Trek would be. Which and the is, tone, too. You know, uh, like, The tone of that you would have some of the – you would have basically the idea that you don't want to own things in the future, that mankind has evolved, yeah. you know, all that sort of stuff, you know, except for you are, you know, fucking around. And it also has some of those little – sometimes the way they um, film the aliens and the way the interactions, they film it in a simplistic way, which feels like Star Trek. It's yes. just a guy with a weird rubber head on. You know, everyone in Star Trek, if you're an alien, your forehead is the main area of a <laughs> Yeah, it's right. always, yeah. <laughs> right. There's a ridge somewhere. Yeah. Trying to read the universe. It's always from your, it's always from your <laughs> the eyebrows up and maybe down the, the well, ridge why, of your nose. Yeah, like, why can't it be chins or something down. instead? No, like, yeah, yeah you know, come on. It's not like you're going to put your mouth on your forehead. Yeah, right, right. Although, right. you know, <laughs> with the order. Or you're going to have a thing, or you're going to have just, the, yeah. you know, it's either going to, you're going to be a Klingon, or you're ears of course ears yeah. very big in star trek but with with the orville though you do have the norm mcdonald character which is the blob thing. oh i love the blob i love and that it's guy great. it's great it's a so great we, show it really sue, is sue, like and sue you know you have matt has talked because i i gotta be honest i have no real feel any kind of urgency to see to watch either discovery or picard matt has seen all of discovery and he's, he's expressed his but you know his so sue but you being this classic star trek fan have you seen both of those series and what do you think? I haven't watched Discovery. I watched the first one and I was very frustrated because they broke the prime directive immediately in the right. beginning of it. Yeah. And they, they broke some real basic rules. Yep. Are they just trying to be like, those, oh, we're going to be like real We're going to be edgy and we're different. Gonna, yeah, yeah, but it yeah. was, they, they broke. And then of course they have somebody who was continually breaking the rules and that did not, it did not work in Star Trek. So yes. I, I kind right. of dropped the ball on that. Okay. And it gets worse. It does get worse. Well, it's just so like now, all of a sudden it's like, wait, we're not, then don't call it Star Trek. Call it something. Right, Thank you. Right, right. Whatever. You exactly. know, don't call it Star Trek. Exactly. Picard. Yeah. yeah what is Picard? What is the, what basically, Picard, what, is the, what is the premise though of it? Just Well, well, really? Well, I mean, no, but I mean, of, is, of is the, the new the, show. Of the new show. Like what is the, is it like way okay, in the so future? Okay, so Picard, basically, basically Picard at some point discovers in a certain, that data has uh, created data has kids yeah and they have created synthetics that are mm. uh, that are now um but they're basically using data because data was so advanced as a as a synthetic the scientists had used data as the template and so data wasn't really dead basically his mm. what has positronic brain was carrying on, et cetera. And so they were duplicating and modeling new synthetics based on that. Now, well, they didn't know how many or whatever, but that, so he gets their, these synthetics are, a couple of them, sisters, are out in the universe. They don't know they're synthetics. And anyway, he discovers this through a series of things. So it's kind of like one a of them. Labor and replicants kind of thing? No, no, yeah, but one of the, it turns out that the Romulans who, um, have for a period of time been trying to stop this from happening because they have a lore that says this is the end of time and it and the synthetics is, are going to come and get us and wipe us all because, out because apparently yeah. um 200 000 years ago at some point that happened and they have this thing and mm, they've okay. infiltrated starfleet blah blah blah. he goes off blah, 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 et etc cetera, etc cetera. Okay. It has good moments. It has moments. It has its classic Star Trek moments where you have to bring in, you know, uh, certain characters. Right. And it's like all, all of a sudden there's Seven of Nine. Yeah, Seven of Nine shows you know, up. And that's kind seven of Seven of Nine is actually good in it. It's one of the better characters in the show. Yeah. Um, and then, but I will say this. 
there's a lot of good about it, but he's so old. He is, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And I don't want to be ageist, but no. it's really hard because Grandpa can't I run around. And he's- <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of feel like, oh, you're you're taking that turn a little too sharp. It's like, oh, watch out! Oh, the stairs, the stairs. You know, it's all, all of a sudden yeah. uh, data. Uh, you know, it's all of a sudden it's like, okay, Rios, beam me down. It's like, really? Are are you the one who should go? Isn't there someone else who should go? <laughs> yeah. See. Uh, Okay. My my <laughs> problem like, with that yeah. show, my problem with that show, the main one for me, is it moves so slow. This the story last three episodes rock are pretty good for once me. Once they get once they get uh, fly out of the board cube, which is being reclaimed. By the way, James, feel uh, free to tune out and maybe <laughs> reread Jaws. Yeah. Uh, see if you can find a character in there that'll explain the boat, which yeah. is makes no sense, Larry. Grab all. some lube and go right to the Hooper yeah. scene with the wife. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, I just I feel like it takes so long to get to everything. I mean, there's a whole episode that's basically a dinner with the Rikers, and you're like, Jesus oh, Christ! I might we like have that, to go though. through every entree. Can we wait? 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 <laughs> no, but you see, but Larry would like that. And the uh, the other thing I would say, as a cook, they are not <laughs> making pizza correctly. And that's- no, no. Well, um, don't Matt- you think over a period of time, though, you know, things change. You know, maybe they're making pizza in a different it's, way. It's space no, pizza. no, it's no, space it's pizza, not, yes. it's, no, no. This is their, it's all of a sudden because the Rikers have gone back to the land, so they're kind of living in a way that we are because they're kids. And that's exciting, right? The Rikers going back to the land. Wow. Woo-hoo! <laughs> that, that seems to be a thing with so many new shows, though, is that the paint that, that, that like they purpose oh, we've got we've know, gone back to like the soap operas of the 70s, 60s, and 70s. It's like, let's drag out this one story element to a fucking whole seer- season. This is a four like, episode story. Sean, no swearing. Larry told me we couldn't be activated. <laughs> it's a That's, load of crud. But you know what? I'll tell you what bothers me most about it in terms because I'll watch it. And this bothers me on a sci-fi level on a bunch of other things. Since when have holograms become, you can hug them, you can kiss them, they can complete task. When have holograms had mass? You know, that, you know what I mean? It's like there's, there's this horrible yes. idea on Picard where the captain of the ship, his name's Rios, who is all, Hot and oh, and I my, one of my least He's favorite got characters. Five holograms of himself, and they all have different characters. Oh wow! And that, wacky. Hey, hey, and then woo-hoo. when you talk to him, you're like, "Who are you?" And he turns around and he goes, "I am Jen Janeer, but it's oh, the same actor." Horrible! I, I oh, want to kill What a stupid myself. idea! <laughs> so it's really, really bad. Plus, like the actor, you know, he saddled. He doesn't have the range. Oh, okay, I would say the only the only time that, that the hologram like that works, Matt, I would say is Red Dwarf. Red Dwarf. Red, and that, but that's a straight out comedy. That's a straight out comedy. But but again, there are some very good science fiction elements yes. within this. Actually, comedy. the way they describe the hologram yes. is pretty cool. And yeah. for for most of the show, this hologram, Arnold J. Rimmer, has. Uh, I'm he's, sorry. He's soft. Arnold J. Rimmer. Yes, <laughs> that's all right. Garrett. I just wanted to be clear on that. Arnold, Larry, you got Arnold that right. Arnold Judas yes. Rimmer. <laughs> yes, the- is his name, and he is just a regular hologram for most of the show. And then at one point, he gets a hard light drive. Yeah, which is cool. And so to me, that's like the type of thing where, like, all you need is just a line of dialogue. Is like, oh, we yeah. just gave him a hard light drive, and now he can touch things. Yeah, like, like that's all that show it works. Yeah, yeah. Well, but in Picard, it they is- don't have anything like that, do they? I don't well, remember. But no, in Picard, the this guy, this character who is. Fine on his own, but he apparently mm-hmm. has five holograms on the ship that are all working the ship for him. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which, by the way, to me, is like, okay, but we're hunting synthetics, but these holograms be able, seem to be able to do what everything that <laughs> synthetics do. So, why is it, you know what I mean? Why aren't we trying yeah. to kill them? I can hug them. They can apparently repair the engine. <laughs> they can do this, and I can hologram myself up as many as I want. As they want. And they're not a problem. Right. Uh, and then, it, I don't know, it's just like, be a hologram or not. I think it's more irritating because the actor has to do, oh, he's, got, terrible. he's got long hair. He's like, yeah, what hey, do you man. want? And then there's yeah. another one where it's like, I'm fixing the engine. And then there's the really uptight one that goes, 
don't put your feet on the oh, table, gosh. you know? Oh. It yeah. sounds like multiplicity, that movie. Yeah. That, oh, oh, yeah. 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 oh, that's good. Oh. Yeah, which is a terrible movie. Okay. Yeah. So well, imagine like your shitty but actor friend doing his one man show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so I'll, I'll, watch, I'll watch Picard. They got picked up for the next season. I'll Did they? Okay. I will wa- mm-hmm. Hey, I will watch the next. But when I it's free, I, I'll watch it. I did not. I did not love Picard. And I, th- this yeah. is another thing. I like some elements of it, like you, Sue. But one thing I find a little amusing is, God bless Brent Spiner. Uh, he, oh, he's a he great comes, actor. He does a great job. But back. it is funny that, like, the android, even in his, like, little um, virtual state, is still a little doughy. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. <laughs> but he's they, not an they explain, But they, do they explain that, though? Why yeah, he's not an android. Oh, okay. Brent Spiner is not an android. Well, he, but he is he is <laughs> no, an android. He isn't, he isn't in this show. In, he is in data Picard. in the show. No, he is not. Wait, he I'm is con- data in the show. Wait, I'm confused. In yeah, Picard, what's, is Brent he does Spiner- not play data. Yes, he so, does. So Brent Spiner's not I, I, in I, the I, show. I, I'm gonna, well, you know what? We have to work on that. But he said data is gone, and he, because he is another... He is another that was made to be like him, but he was allowed to age. I and that see. it was something else. Mm. And it well, was that not oh, so it's it not, is not data. Okay, so it's not that data, was, data. But I thought data finally dies at the end. But it's another version of data. Yeah, the data's gone. That is not data. All right. Well, I that's a have, clever piece of Because of the length of the episode, I'm gonna have to do my uh, fact check. <laughs> All right. But I'm sure by that and, point, and, I stopped and, caring. By the way, I, should, I I will completely cop to, I have no fucking idea. It could be data. I don't know. Really. <laughs> I, just, I don't want to answer the letters. Well, you so answer thank, the letters. Thank, thank <laughs> you. But you can catch that Riker Jane. was a hologram. No, Riker see, was not a hologram. See, guys, come on. This is when people are going to get confused. <laughs> I, I'm a hologram right, right now. No. So. See, okay, now, the all... only hologram is the room from James, who apparently, for some reason, has his computer on mute. <laughs> this is how people get confused. Now, uh, you, you know that a great job. Did, did you catch Are we doing that, a show you, for people who get confused? Did you catch that P- Picard was dead all the way through? It's the like series? the Sixth Sense. It was right. like the Sixth Sense. Yeah, he's been dead the entire time. Wow, that's cool. That's yeah. not true. Gee, that's great, guys. <laughs> no, that's it's great. true. It's true. <laughs> So, Sue, you have action figures of your own in your house? <laughs> Good segue, Larry. But, but, but it's like you don't actually keep the figures in your house, do you? You actually keep them outside? Larry, I, I think um, we covered that. <laughs> well, that was in part of the show. That was like Larry, pre-show. Larry, I think we covered that. <laughs> um, no, yeah. No, I, I just have... She doesn't I, care. She, she, she actually plays with her figures yeah. like a kid. She takes them out right. in the yard. Yeah. And they're not my, like they're I, super I, I rare have action figures. figures. And Matt, who has been very generous, has bestowed action figures to me on the past. And they live in my garden. And it, what happens... They're like gnomes. Yeah, they're, yeah. Just, they're in plants. I have a huge garden. Cool. Yeah. My, my, I do. I have a very large... And it keeps going with... It's all this. It's part of it. And so... I have tons of action figures that you would don't notice unless you all of a sudden become aware of them. And then you uh. go, Oh, there's Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And, um, <laughs> but, but it you don't looking for, okay. But you that she's pulling through, but you don't have a, you don't have like a classic 1976 Mego figure out in the yard getting she, hit by the sun. First of all, she has no idea water. what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but this is one of the originals, and that's out in my yard. This that's cool, one. Gorn. Well, yeah, cool. that, I have that, that one. That's a great one. Yeah, that is a very nice one. It, I would say an original from 76, with Mego with the soft plastic and the little rubber band in, in the middle, you know, which is prone to breaking. Yeah, I'd throw it out in the backyard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because if you do that, then you can grow a new figure. You but, know yeah, that? I tell you what's, what's good because I have so many kids in my life and I have all these kids that come over. I'm serious. Go, I'll, I can get them going. I'll go, go out there and count how many little people you can find in the yard. It's oh, like Easter egg hunt. And yeah, before you fun. know it, before you know it, I got about an hour and a half to myself out there. <laughs> and look at it and they go, smart. I found a lizard. And I go, that is a gorn. That is a cool. <laughs> now say it back to me. Then you're you're it's teaching a, a new generation okay. about yeah, Star Trek. It's a lizard with a leopard outfit. 
No, <laughs> so, that is a gorn. Have you ever been out to the Vasquez Rocks? Have you ever gone out there? Where they shot all those things? Yes. Like, yeah. No, yes. I've never been out there. Oh, Sue, we should go. We should it's, go, right? Sue, we should go, go. Imagine, go tomorrow. Can you imagine Larry and I on a road trip? Let's just take that. Let's I just, no, I want, just I want that to happen. That. You that know needs what? To happen. We, that has to happen. Oh my god! First of all, I'm, I'm gonna I'm packing a lunch as we speak. First of all, you would, look, we'd have a blast. And let me tell you, when, when you step out of the car, when you step out of the car, it would oh, be like I'd, a re- I'd love to go. I just don't know if you and I should go. No, no, it would be like a religious experience. You get out. I'm of the gonna car go and with you. James. He seems quieter. <laughs> James, no, how do you feel about Vasquez Rocks? Awesome. No, okay. you know what? All we, right, we gotta we gotta film this. I'll I'll drive. Oh. And then uh, when you guys take the camera and we'll do a documentary. Great, oh. great. James, now, just, have you grown out your hair during this last few months? It seems as if you're leaning into your Woodstock side. <laughs> yes, my hair is longer than it's ever been in my life. I'm turning into a Dukes of Hazard character. Right <laughs> oh, I was going to say Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's the what pinna- the first pinna- thing that came to my mind. Pinnacle of science <laughs> fiction. I could legitimately have a ponytail right now. God, he wow. hates our show. He really does. He doesn't. <laughs> but, but just for listeners what who that don't know, do with- what, just for <laughs> listeners who don't know, the Vasquez Rocks is where they filmed the whole sequence of the Gorn arena, in the arena fighting, yeah. fighting Captain Kirk. And, it's all this. It all looks exactly the same. And it's and and the so it's so cool because when you go there, you learn that. I mean, that's to me is the most famous one. But there were tons of other films oh, yeah. that were shot kind of like, out. Kind of there. like Bronson Canyon, the cave, the cave that you see in lots of movies from the fifties and sixties. They filmed at this Bronson Canyon, which is right up in Penn Holly. Yeah. Also, uh, Dana Gould went out and, you know, he loves Planet of the Apes. So he went out to where they shot Ape City in the original Planet of the Apes. Yeah, yeah. And apparently there are pieces of it all over the place. So he took this trek all the way out there, and I forget exactly where it is, but brought back all these little pieces and to all his friends, like here, here's a piece of Ape City. So it's like you get That's a little awesome. piece of stone and some, uh, you know, wire work. The fact that these places are still there and that you can actually pick up from the ground a piece of sci-fi history. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like going to see the Greek temples. <laughs> yeah. Only better. Yeah. For us, yeah. <gasps> yes, and see, that's where they filmed Jason no, and the it isn't. Yes, it is. It's a fake. It's, it's fake. Funny. It's fake set. real. It's, it's not real. real civilization. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Too. This too. chicken wire is history. It, it is. is. You laugh. It's movie you history. Laugh, movie it history. Is. Yeah. It is it is film history. Yeah. That little piece of chicken wire, you know, held part of the wall that was used part of the you know the ape structure, and yeah. that is really cool. And the fact that you could still find little little remnants there at, at, after oh my god, like sixty years. There's a amazing. there's a yeah. hotel room where you can find if you just go to one of the rooms, you can find Fatty Arbuckle's underpants. <laughs> They're hidden no. all over the place. No, no, <laughs> no that's Larry. That's true. No, 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 Larry, that's true. Uh, but what I will say, what this is, is this is what our car ride would be. Now, Larry, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> James, James, are you how you doing? Are you okay? <laughs> okay. Is there a front drive I'm doing another. Uh, how you doing? Apple cider vinegar. You <laughs> do you need, do you need okay. any more good. apple do vinegar it. to keep you awake up there? Because Larry, do, do, let me set the stage. Hey, hey James, I'm let me just set. say, Larry, Hold on, wait a minute. James, I'm still in character here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sue, let me set the stage. James and I, we pick you up in the car, okay? Oh, we, that's yes. exciting, right? And there. then, and then we've got a little cooler with some oh, sodas cooler. and some What's snacks. In the cooler? Well, we got some, a selection of coolers and snacks and some fruit. Some yeah, I want to know what the snacks and fruit are. I mean, the well, snacks and fruit. I want to know that. But I'm, I'm coming along too, right? When we, yeah. <laughs> Sean we're all going. Sean we're all going. is listen. Oh. No, no, we're going. We're renting a van. Okay. They actually, we're all taking individual motorhomes and we're camping out there for two weeks. Oh, oh no, we need permission to do that. We can't do that. Well, we can't do that. No, you need permission. No, no, no. Yeah, you don't need American. permission. And let I'm me tell an you, American and I'm in Costco without Sue? a mask. What? I have the right because I'm you know, American. I have the right to do what I okay. want to do in this God's great country. Okay, That's right. Sue, I'm, I'm going to the- sneeze all over Vasquez rocks. Okay. I'm going to go lick those rocks. <laughs> okay, listen, guys. What? I know we're all being very funny here. Yes. But I'm just going to tell you, I went out to Vasquez rocks not too long ago. And when I entered- Just to get your head together? 
Yes. Yeah, and yeah. When I went, because the know, wife, you it's know, a, well, it's a long story. <laughs> so I gone out there when I entered the gates. Uh-huh. I was stopped. I was stopped by two park rangers, and they had masks horns. on. And they said, <laughs> "No, they did not have horns." But they said, "Sir, how long are you going to be here for?" And I said, "Oh, well, I was just going to go, you know, check out the rocks and stuff." And they said, "Okay, well, we ask is number one that you please wear your mask." Oh, and, and did you say screw you? No, I, mean, no. I can and look second, at rocks in naked if I want to. Sue, Sue. <laughs> it's it's because it's 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 a state owned. I mean, it's it's government owned. Yeah. You know, and, and know, you don't, you don't want to infer and, 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 and they're communists. The second thing that so you just wore a mask over your cock. That's well, it. maybe okay. Well, maybe if I can finish my story, you know, then you right, find no, out. This is gonna be good. But, uh, okay, go ahead. But go they ahead. said they said, do you have a mask? Yes, I do, sir. Here it is. They said, okay, please wear your mask. And the second thing is, please practice social distancing of course. there's people out there and we're just keeping track of how many people enter the park and and so i i said no problem sir i'm happy to follow the rules and you know then i drove to where that the structure was and people had their masks on and people kind of kept their distance and, and for right now even at vasquez rocks where the gorn and captain kirk fought people are wearing masks and keeping their distance hey what if we get gorn and captain kirk mass there you go <laughs> well, like, my, Sue, my wife and I went out there a few years back and we brought our little figures of Kevin Kirk and the Gorm and took photos oh, on the rocks. You know, I love that. That's, I love that. I was when I was, hot. Uh, <laughs> when I was traveling around South America, this is when uh, this tune out everybody. This is when Will Clark was playing first base for the um, for the Giants. I remember that. I had um oh, I yeah. had a, probably an eighteen inch <laughs> little cardboard cutout of him. Mm-hmm. Will the throw? I, I brought it with me all around oh. South America and photographed it in perspectives that he was all over South America. <laughs> oh, and I made great. I made a little book. I'll show you sometime. It's my little, you know, Larry, you and I, when we take our road trip, this is the fun we're going to have. I, th- I think that'd be great. But I just want to say, as a Star Trek fan, Sue, I think you'd have a blast of us going out to Vasquez Rock. I'd love to do it. And, and just, we- I just want to know if you, uh, how many containers of lube we're bringing. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's never enough. <laughs> Can we say that to the guys at the gate? Listen, I have a mask, <laughs> and um, I have I have some hand sanitizer. Would you like some? And then we just go <laughs> and just oh, I'm sorry, that's my lube. I'm not, so sorry. Not with the park rangers. That's not. Yeah. That's not cool. <laughs> but, what's rangers rangers but, but if that right. once once you take off your mask and you start running around, it's going to be hard for them to capture you <laughs> when you're all lubed up, especially sure. in uh, in that kind of sunlight. If oh, people- also, especially because you'll be able to form a, rudner, a rudimentary weapon to fight off the park where it's That's right. It's true. Yeah, there's now, diamonds there's and coal. I and coal and, 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 and the elements of gunpowder. All it, over the place. Well, he has you know, figured it out. He's got to you know, look. It, and, funny, uh, and a big that. thing of bamboo for some reason. Right, it's, yeah. <laughs> giant space bamboo. It's yeah. funny you should say <laughs> that. Because, because you know what? Bamboo is very – it's in a desert is where bamboo <laughs> – it thrives in a desert. It yeah. thrives in a desert. It See, doesn't Sue, like water. Sue, yeah. Sue, that was an alien planet where things <laughs> all askew, you know? It just looked a lot like Earth bamboo, but it was Oh, it, well, come on, Sean. Don't you think that certain plants would be similar on another yeah, planet? Sure. Maybe be a yeah. little, you know, maybe, maybe that bamboo, that space bamboo is maybe stronger than our bamboo or something. Well, obviously, if you can, if you can make it out of a rudimentary bazooka, then it has yeah, to be. And also, <laughs> those, out of and also yeah. those, those diamonds that Kirk found, I mean, they right. were kind of rough. They were rough diamonds, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. So, I, you know, I'm just saying. Diamonds in a rough. They're not, they're not like, I love like, the fact I, that we're justifying some guy who just wrote this down and just went, ah, oh, hey, screw it. There's <laughs> diamonds here. Oh, whatever. Hey, how do you make a gun? Hey, I put hey. some bamboo out there. <laughs> yeah. This is this is the writer's room. But hey, there's no sp- bamboo. It's hey, like, we, screw you, naysayer. Hey, Let's hey, just Al. do it. Do we still got that bamboo? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's in the go, it's in the Gilligan's Island. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The professor, he makes a thing. Yeah. You know, um, Just you use know, that. Uh, no one will no one will care. Yeah, you don't want to be the person in a writer's room that who's going who's always the naysayer. Oh, well, there's no bamboo. Oh, you're oh great. Oh, it's you're base okay, bamboo, Mr. idiot. Mr. No. 
<laughs> I'm just, you know, look, and for people who don't know, who are curious about it, what's really neat is the Vasquez Rocks. It is a, it is a state park. It's, uh, if you're in the LA area, you go up the five and, and take the 14 out to Vasquez Rocks and you'll eventually come to it. And it's really beautiful. And, and I would recommend you making a trip. And Sue, I think that we should go. I, I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get another bottle of wine. I'll be right back. <laughs> Uh, but I also have something I want to show you guys. Continue talking, James. Ooh. Tell a story. This is going to be exciting. Tell a story, James. Uh, tell a story about how uh, how uh, that chair makes your pants sweat. Hold on. <laughs> hey, how hot is it in the Palm Springs? It's about 350 degrees. Today. Wow. That's all, huh? <laughs> There's a dry heat. Okay. Cool. And yeah. how are you settling in there? Settling in, it's nice, it's quiet. Now, let me ask you this. <laughs> seems quiet. Can, can yeah. you, have you taken your stuff out and displayed yeah. it yet? Is that a plan? Um, What's the you deal guys, I just, I, I, I just want to... Hey, you I mean, know, you're I, cutting James off. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did I? No, I still okay. have to buy. I still have to buy the bookcases. Okay, that's, um, that's coming up. It's not okay. Here. See, we were asking James if he had set up his stuff because he has a lot of stuff too. But yeah. we asked him if he had set it up yet, and he has not. Okay. He still has to buy bookcases. <laughs> is, okay. is that the end of your story? This is great. Cases. That's it. That's, is a good story. Yeah. Yes. No doubt. Um, I'm, not, I, I'm, I'm impatient to show you this because I haven't all right. put it. In this the would be great yet. for a podcast audio too. Okay, this is all. We'll take a screenshot. Matt, 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 you're going to cut this out, right? I no, can no, cut no, it out no. if you like. No, no we'll just, I'm excited. It depends on what it is. Let's see what it is first. Okay, so you asked me for a, he a headshot. Yes. And of course, I love he said it, an old headshot, and it was like, well, what do you think? I've got recent ones. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you'll see it's addressed. Oh, to look Matt. at that! All ready to oh, go. Cool. Wow. And With the Reliant have on to, there, right? Yeah, that's it. Reliant right there. Oh, nice. nice. Um, Reliant anyway, is on the envelope. Anyway, so um, I made this, and this is because for Larry, and I did this with cut and paste. Ooh, and this is I for a studio? This is for you. I'm going to give this to you guys and send it okay. to you. I just want to show you my headshot. Great. <laughs> oh, that's, that's awesome! Oh my god. That's beautiful. That's some nice. Uh, oh my god! So it's I like it's that. it's a really sexy like I don't well, know like Sheila like, E kind of it's, yeah. It's yeah. my old headshot, and then I added. <laughs> that's great. I did that for Larry. I added that. I added, and this is added the creature. See, the creature. The creature from sneaking the black up behind movie. you. Yeah, sneak up behind me. You can see that. See where it's shiny. That's on mine. So you can see that's yes. where my headshot is. And you can yes. see this paper. I yes. cut that out. And I, this is my little cut that's and paste beautiful. project. That's cool. That's, that's a great job. Night. I like that. Oh, that that's will be great. proudly displayed, and uh, we will show that uh, on Facebook. Well, yes. I just uh, <laughs> I, I I thought this was my homage to Larry's love of that monster. Oh, see, see how I'm much strange. she loves you. Touched. See how much she cares. So and you know, you look a lot like Sigourney Weaver there. Yeah, I, that, I've gotten that. I the still past. say Sheila, but don't don't shoo away that. I mean, just go. That's right. Well, well yeah. I think it's a, it's a lovely compliment, but let's all be real. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I was impatient to show it to you because uh, see, it's it's being sent to Mr. Weinhold right here. Oh, that's awesome. Sue, that's awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm I'm touched. I am touched that she did the creature. That is so great. Uh, well, that's it neat. was really fun to do. It took forever with the Zacto knife and hey. the thing and the whole. It was like, oh my god! <laughs> Where did Larry. you find the time? <laughs> You're working on really? it. I did it last night. I'm up. I, I have a specific um, thing that kept me up last night. So it was like three o'clock in the morning. I went. Would that be Chip? All -Star. No. <laughs> <laughs> like Chip and Dale. Like well, like Chip 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 our mutual, our mutual friend. Chip. Chinnery. He's my guy who um, I uh, touch in private ways. <laughs> a, a, a comedian, a hilarious comedian, he's, hilarious he's my, actor. He's, he's my carry. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, so here's a question. So I know uh, Sue, you you like science fiction and stuff. What what about cartoons? Do you like cartoons? Like any kind of like classic animated or anything? yeah. Well, you know, I I don't. I'm not knowledgeable about them. I'll that's say a, that I'm not knowledgeable about them, but I will occasionally 
come across something like on an adult swim where I just think right. <clears throat> some of the most creative stuff I've seen. I, I liked this weird uh, show that was on HBO animals. Oh, oh yeah. That. I've never seen that, but I've heard. Oh man, I think you'd like it. Yeah? Okay. It's so bizarre and so weird. It's the, um, what's the, what's the brothers? I can't think of the name, their names. And it's not really animated. James, have you seen it? I've seen pieces of bits and pieces of it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's more like, you know, like using photographs or, or kind of sketch drawings that sort of right. half move and move right. around. Yeah. And, uh, that. Huh. and they're animals, but the animals all have really human, horrible anxieties and weird <laughs> things. And, and, you know, you've got two pigeons that can't figure out why no one likes them, you know, and, and it's, it, it's, uh, I don't know if they picked it up, but it's it's really cool. I thought it was, as a writer, as a comedy writer, I just thought it was a really interesting. They they dug into worms and why you know what their what their anxieties would be, <gasps> and uh, you know great. and and or they have someone who goes like the rabbit is this and why are you screwing him? I thought I mean, you screw <laughs> everybody here. Well, of course that's what I do. I screw everybody. You know what I mean? It's like the but they put all this human um, right. angst mental on top of that. angst and anxiety onto what animals do. That's cool. And it's, it, I thought it was really funny, but and you know, I like Ren and Stimpy. I'd like them. Oh yeah. Love yeah, them oh, that was, that's great. Cool. They were, they were know, kind of the, groundbreaking. The, Simpson, the Simpsons are fucking, you know, I mean, they the broke the classic mold. classic. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. But I mean, think about it. The Simpsons really started the yes. whole i mean in my mind i don't know enough about this but in my mind that was the beginning of yeah all modern wave of well, and adult then like adult animation. humor yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you watch rick and morty i think I you might it. like that yeah, yeah that's when it. we have to start watching what that's about really uh, funny so what about like recent like newer recent sci-fi or horror films that have been released. Have you seen any that you're into? Well, you know what I wrote down? I started to write down some of the horror, the, the sci-fi movies I like, and I had this sort of uncomfortable revelation that Tom Cruise was in a bunch of them. <laughs> oh, yes, but he's in some good ones, though. He's in some Wait. good ones. He's obviously I mean, a sci-fi fan. Saying, it's just so weird, because it was, I wrote it down. It's like Minority Report. Yeah, I like that. Is that Obl- good? Oblivion. Yeah, I've never seen yeah. that. Oblivion, like, look- which I liked. Mm. Uh, that was okay. It was okay. Mm. Yeah, but anyway. Edge of Tomorrow. Edge of Tomorrow is great. And then War of the Worlds, not that great, but no. it had mm. some things in it. Yeah. And then he was like Interview with the Vampire. I just started to look at it all of a sudden because I was looking up Edge of Tomorrow, and I mm-hmm. went, "Wait a minute, he's been in a lot of movies. Yeah, it works yeah. a lot." Yeah, yeah, but I mean, no, it's just uh, no but Edge of Tomorrow. But I liked Oblivion. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah it, it was. Yeah. I, I, I love. I love the look of it and the concept of it. The I just concept, thought it kind of. Yes. Yeah, it has some great design to it. You know, I mean, the end is absurd, and you want to punch everybody in the face. But <laughs> yeah, uh, My, but, minority minority report has elements in it that are kind of like cringeworthy. But overall, it's a great. I, I really like. It. I love the mystery, and it's pretty cool. I've never you know? seen it. Yeah, you should see that. Maybe. Oh, you, you know, Matt, it. Matt, I think yeah. it's worth it. Yeah. yeah okay. It's worth, it's worth seeing like, once. You know, what's interesting is it has things in it that at the time were sort of were sci-fi, but that are actually happening, which is he's walking through, let's say, a mall, and oh, the, yes. the billboards are changing to be specific. Because to, they, it, reads, it reads the person right. walking in, so the they, they know cool. their, their it, shopping have yeah. it. taste and, and, but know, it's just yeah. like if you go on um, like it's like tracking your likes and that's yeah. everything that we've like that's so it totally has some stuff now. that is all part of what's happening now with yeah, yeah. data it's so, collecting sue it's so funny because exactly people who buy things on facebook or ebay or whatever it is how you get tracked and it's like so Algorithms. they know, they know yeah. to follow you it's like hey you bought these socks and you might like these socks or you yeah. It's like right now, it's all on the computer screen, but you're right. Maybe we're just a stone's throw away from having stuff like that in malls. We're just walking along. With well, our that's mats. not, that's not mats. far away. That's no, not far no, away. No, but no. except for that we're not going to be able to go outside. Yeah. But um, <laughs> the, uh, uh, I, love the, the, I love it when you get somehow your algorithm or whatever it is. I am getting, if on my social media, I am getting ad after ad of this oil for really curly hair. And I'm like, where did that come from? Never... Did you buy? That did was... you buy something like that for no, somebody else? That was, no, that was, I'm sorry, that was from me. 
<laughs> I just oh. that's how I see you. I yeah, I want to address you. But you see it once after another, and there's another one. And you go, what happened? What did I say into my phone? What did I say? I wish I had curly hair. I mean, I don't know what it is. Or, or right. oh, I'm sorry. That's a big, big brother. Hair. Big brother wants you to have curly hair. That's all it is. Uh, uh, speaking uh, of Big Brother, this is a movie that it's not a it's not a, it's a recent movie, but it's one that I don't think it's talked about enough. That I thought was pretty fun when at least you know, uh, kind of disposable viewing. You watch it once and it's really enjoyable. I don't know if I'd go back to it again necessarily, but it was a movie called Equilibrium. I don't know that one. Christian Bale, mm-hmm. Tay Diggs, yes. and Emily Watson. Yes. I'll go with Christian Bale anytime. That guy commits. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's really, and it's a really good What's movie. What's the premise? It's, he is like this police officer in this dystopian future where emotions and anything that stimulates emotions have been forbidden. Mm-hmm. And okay. so he's the guy who comes after people who display any of that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But then it's sort of like Logan's run where he then <laughs> gets turned. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. right. To the but truth. it's a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of really good mm-hmm. action. And I think, and, I, uh, I, I think the, the, the cinematographer was Dion Beebe, who went on to win an Academy Award. He's incredibly talented. And it is a really beautiful picture. Like the, huh. the cinematography. It visual, visually, it's yeah. stunning. Yeah. yeah. Yes, but Sean, you would like, I think you'd like yeah. it. Yeah. Well, yeah. We, uh, we, we recently saw and really enjoyed the new Invisible Man. I love that movie. Really good. I, I was, really enjoyed that. It's amazing how like after, after the pathetic giant failure of the dark universe where Universal tries to just copy the Marvel universe and make a giant CGI filled spectacle with Tom Cruise of the mummy. And that was supposed to launch this whole series of films. And it just, it was like a disaster. The invisible man, the new invisible man, they just, they simply, you know, they reimagine it as an actual horror film again. And they make it a small, intimate horror story about a real threat. You know, Elizabeth Moss. And it, it's amazing. Like, they, I heard they, she was really wonderful in it. She's great. She's great. The, she's the movie is really I'm clever. I'm such a fan of hers. She's Me great. Too. And and they, they actually, they, they, man, they managed to take a character, this Invisible Man character, and make him so menacing, but it's all menacing without seeing him and all from other characters talking about him and how bad he is. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's just, it's really clever. And the, with the way they do the invisibility is very novel. And it's just, I thought it was really well done. It's like, that's what they should do with, forget trying to make these like CGI spectacles and spend yeah. billions of dollars. Make just a good horror story and yeah. use that as a jumping point for, to take a classic universal character and do something fresh with it. Well, a fun, you know, a fun is, ending as well. Oh, yeah. great ending. Well, Very well, satisfying. Don't, 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 no, 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 no. no, no. no. No, no, no. Da, 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 stand da, da, down. They all turn out to be apes at the end. Blah, 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 blah. And Larry no, it turns out it. it turns out they're on Earth. It turns out. Sue, but Sue. It turns I, out they were, they're on a road trip with Larry. Um, <laughs> Sue, you would like, that's a horror film I think you would like. It's not oh, no, like, it's I, not torture and yeah. bloody. No, it's, I, it's a good suspense, 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 character-driven suspense drama. Yeah, you'd like and it. The, the boy and I were going to watch it. And also, I understand that from some of the stuff I've read, there's been some sort of thing about it brings up that whole thing about people thinking women are crazy. Yeah, no, it's, and, it's a and great... Which is, oh, from, yes. from a feminist point of view, yes. not to, not to yes. make you guys uncomfortable, James... <laughs> Here we go. James, James, James is totally comfortable with feminism. Larry's a little worried. Um, but uh, it's, it's going to make the it's coffee just that, soon. It's just that thing. It's like, oh, honey, you're crazy. Yeah, you, yeah. you got your, oh, honey, I don't believe you. Come on, just, you know what? Why don't we just go shop? I understand it has that sort of element to yeah. it that where you're just going, are you kidding me? Well, yeah, also, yeah. also the thinking you're crazy when it comes to spousal abuse. Yes, yeah, it, it exactly, deals with that. Exactly. And you're, you're really rooting for Elizabeth Moss in the film. It's it's really well done. Yeah, so that's a good I, I hope they do more. If Universal's going to do anything with their classic monster characters, that's the way they should be doing it. Well, what would other what, what would be another one that would apply? Well, well okay. Do, yeah, that's speaking of Tom Cruise, but have yeah. you seen uh, Sue, have you seen the Mummy? Because the Mummy's like a eh, you're you're you know, a Tom Cruise fan, right? 
the well, mummy, the new mummy film. Oh no, that sounded like a disaster. Yeah. I it was. Go near it that. was pretty much. Yeah, but no, that but was. By like, the way, by the way, I am not a Tom Cruise fan. I was shocked, by the way. I mean, he's a, he's a guy who does movies. Right. I, I don't go, oh, Tom Cruise has got a new movie. Right. Let me go. It's, more, I think he, I, it's more like yeah. I see something and I like it and I go, oh, this is yeah. surprising. I, think he, he I didn't smartly think I'd picks, like this movie because Tom yeah. Cruise is in it. But, he oh, smartly but he's got the right projects. thing. I think he's great. Right. Right. Okay, Sue, I stand corrected. I thought you were like, oh, I love Tom Cruise. So no, I, no, I, no. I no, stand I, corrected. I do not. I do not. He is not my object of desire. <laughs> it's just the fact that you're both Scientologists, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And I think okay. this is a perfect opportunity for me to talk to you about how I feel uh, that psychology where, is where, false. Where and Joe, anything and that where, we, <laughs> Poor Larry. Where, where, He's about to jump I, out of his I seat. I think this, where, is a, where, this is an opportunity where, for guys, me where, to tell you hey, that Xenon is, is not science fiction. Now we're, Even <laughs> though Xenon did pick up the evil bodies in 747s and, and drop the Thetans into the uh, volcanoes. Yeah. It's yeah. not science fiction. It's real. And hey, if hey, you come look it here, up. Look hey. it up. You know, hey. And if I hook you up to these two tin cans and a little extra <laughs> in, in these battery cables, <laughs> I'm going to tell you about your life. So if you can tell me everything you've do done horribly in your life so I can hold it against you and keep you against your will, <laughs> right. If, right. So, if, if you're, that if doesn't you're, sell it. If you're, if, you're, if you're just tuning in to Monster Party now... <laughs> You are in for quite a shock. You are the Scientology who, police. Just a who little, tunes <laughs> into a middle of a podcast? I don't have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right there, apparently there's some sort of strange dial that Larry <laughs> has <laughs> when he's listening to podcasts. <laughs> okay. Am I AM, FM? What are they talking right. about? Look, sometimes Welcome people, back to uh, Monster Body. Yeah. Well, well, sometimes people... <laughs> Monster Body, you know, we have the uh, news and weather. Broadcasting live from WKRM. <laughs> yes. Okay. And the 405 is clear because it's still COVID-19. We're back to Monster Body if you just... <laughs> Uh, we've got a fate and fire uh -huh. on 405. Oh, it looks like there's a Scientologist on the left and, uh, doing some good work. Oh, that's because they all think they're in charge. That's lovely. <laughs> okay, Larry. This is, Larry, this is just a glimpse into our road trip out to the... <laughs> that's right. Sue, so I, I, could, I could joke with you. I could go back and forth on, with that. You know, you're I hip. Can, you can you know, can hang with the guys. I can, I can down. Swing, you know, I can you know, <laughs> getting down kind of a thing. But this is what I wanted to say when we go on our road trip. You know, we got our snacks and stuff. Uh -huh. We put on some soundtracks to kind of oh, get no. us in the mood. <laughs> no, and we, we do you accept LRH as your leader. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but L. Ron Hubbard. I'm, L. Ron Hubbard. Ten. I, He's standing I, right behind you. Let's. Let's just get back to our soundtrack stuff. Is there any soundtracks? Sea like Org. If, if we were gonna, if we were gonna listen to some soundtracks, if we're gonna go on a trip, you know, what would you like to listen to? Like, would it be like soundtrack? I have this That's great? Well, think about From it. From sci-fi like, movies? Yes. Like I, I have. That's this, all they see. Look. No, no, let me no. explain look, something. Look, look, why, why did you, why do you interrupt me when I'm trying to tell her a story about soundtracks that you listen to soundtracks from movies? I put on a great Star Trek one, which has all these different Star Trek, which would be pieces. fun. Yeah. But then we'd have on to our... listen to something else at some point. No, the only thing hey, Larry, Star Trek... I'm on this trip too. Stop <laughs> writing me out of this scenario. <laughs> so James, I want me to be part James of the is... treats. Okay. Do you James really is driving, to... so he's in charge no, of whatever's being no, played. No, Sue, I beg to differ. He is not driving. I am driving. Oh. Oh, no. Hey, James, you just got cut out. What happened? No, no, it has nothing to do. No, I, James doesn't like to drive. James? I thought that I would drive because, again, we're going to be filming all this, and, you know, I mean, there's, there's you're going film, to... You're filming it. You're, okay, you're, if, you're, if I'm filming it... Yeah, you're Mr. Film Guy. Drive. You're Mr. Yeah. GoPro Guy. Well, yeah, that's did, true. That's aren't true. You okay, I'll film it. I'll film and, it, and, and, it's like and one I'm of you at, guys can drive. I'm in the driver's yeah. seat, and I'm going, hey, James. Yeah, no, we're hey, all okay. filming. Okay. And, and, we're, and we're, we're Matt and I during this whole road trip. Yeah, we're all wearing police body We're in the rumble seat. We're all wearing okay. body cams. Well, okay, so well, anything goes wrong, I want to have my own recording device. Well, let's just say, 
if Sue is our guest, did you want to go shotgun, Sue? Did you want to be in the front seat with me? I don't think you should talk to me like that. <laughs> okay. So let's say. I, I think that's, a, I think that's uh, actually. Don't you? A, a, no. I, I, it I means don't, sitting next to you, not the sexual shotgun. Let's talk about the soundtrack. Let's talk to the soundtrack. <laughs> um, I, Star Trek is, um, that's nice, but it's not my favorite soundtrack. <gasps> I like the sound effects from the original show. I can no, listen but, to that I, but I, I do think the to entire road the trip, room. we should listen to the fight music from Star Trek. You sure. What is it? Three and a half hours of that will be great. Three hours of that. And we'll just be back there punching each other. And, no, and, and then, yeah. and then, as we come close to the <clears throat> gate with the Rangers, yes. we play the the, the medicine dun, music. Dun, no, we can play this. But when does the uh, when does the romantic in. music come in? Do, 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 do. That's that's of course <laughs> that's of course when uh, you guys all get out in the rocks. Yeah, right? <laughs> I sit in my car and go <laughs> campfire daisy chain. <laughs> I was in oh. the scouts. Sue, you got to get out of the car. You got to get out. Of the car. I'm going on a trip, but I let's get back to the soundtrack. Let's okay. find one. What's okay. a good soundtrack? I was I can't even think of. I mean, the th soundtracks I think of are like Ennio Marconi, and you know, sure, yeah, who, who, yeah, that's great. The, yeah. I mean, his soundtrack just, of the mission is phenomenal, and yeah, the mission. Hey, there you and, go. Many, uh, many great soundtracks. Just passed oh, yeah. away, James. Could I you know. Yeah, no, he had a he was up there. He was like ninety one. He had yeah, a fall. Yeah, he's in his nineties. Hundreds. A lot of these guys. I mean, soundtracks. John Williams. He's, I don't think he's got much time left either. You know, yeah. it's, it's easy to forget. Some Jerry of these guys Gold, are really Smith up there. Already gone. Hold on a second, yeah. John. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's only he didn't know he didn't have much time left. He's yeah. over here partying. But he came back to <laughs> to our 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 uh, um, Morocco guy. <laughs> Morocco. 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 Yes, Morocco. Morocco. I'm sorry. Ennio Marconi. You were, you were, what are, you, are you drinking your uh, yeah. Red Bull and vodka Morocco. right let's, let's play the Secret what are you drinking, Squirrel Larry? soundtrack. What are you drinking, Larry? <laughs> listen, Mo, listen. Mo I love Secret Squirrel. <laughs> I, I just wanted to say to James, James, could you tell us a little bit about the man? Because you well, said he was, he was awesome. Like, he was awesome. He, he, yeah. he composed like like uh, twelve thousand scores. Yeah, maybe one of the most versatile ever. guys. We're ever. gonna listen yeah. to every one. Of them. <laughs> well, that's right. Um, he did most recently. He did the Hateful Eight, and that's yeah. Really did he? Good one. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, he did the soundtrack for the Hateful Eight. Sorry to step on your the, on James here. But no. all, you know, all the spaghetti westerns, obviously, you know, Classic. you know, the all the Clint Eastwood ones. The but thing. Like, all these uh, Italian yep. movies, he did so many. And you say like it was a couple of thousand, James? Yeah, well, he, like, I don't know exactly how I many, but he did, right? a, he did a lot. Yeah, you know, like, a lot of Italian films. I mean, the, the Sergio Leone's and the, the Giallo's, I mean, uh, the westerns. Yeah, those are well known here. Early ones. Dario Geno's. Uh, but he did a ton of domestic Italian and French movies. Right. That, in every uh, genre. You know, yeah. And, and they're, they're all interesting. They all have something that make them worth listening to. Some of them are really beautiful. Uh, he throws in these voices. You know, Edda Del Orso was this operatic singer. He put in a lot of his scores. Yeah. Um, she was like a... Yeah. Yeah, he was he was amazing. Do you, you have know a favorite? A, you have a, a soundtrack that, Oh yeah, sorry. Do you have a favorite? Sorry, James, I interrupted. My favorite, yes. Morricone, is uh, Fistful of Dynamite, Duck You Sucker. Mm. Love that score. Okay. And, and Orca, which we've talked about. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a beautiful. great one. A beautiful score. Yeah. yeah. He's on the top of my list of listening to things. But, I mean, there are other ones, like the soundtrack for The Shining is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Wendy Carlos. Um, well, I love Wendy Carlos. Look at him. Yeah. Look at him with the knowledge. Look at him digging deep. <laughs> uh, a favorite of Kubrick's. I mean, right? Uh, yeah, Agent Clockwork Clockwork Orange. Orange. Right. yeah. A really interesting, diverse talent. Yep. What about TV shows, Sue? Any no, news? I'm, I'm going to add another soundtrack. The soundtrack of Midnight Cowboy. John Barry. Harry oh, Wilson. Was it John Barry? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's famous, it's it's famous for the song in there, but 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 uh, but yeah, I didn't, right. didn't think about the score. Yeah, yeah, the score is really great. But you know, it's like people who that like the um, the score for uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Right, I right. don't like it because it's like sugary sweet. It's just 
And you don't out like of the blue, song? Out of, well, out of the blue, there's that pop song. And yeah, the Raindrops. Like, raindrops oh, is not oh, one of my favorites. It's a, touchy, yeah. no. it's a touchy moment, though. The writing little that, that is, is, That's a great movie, but that is like a, that scene kind of sticks out of your sore thumb. It dates it. Yeah, it, it, does. it really dates it. James, yeah, yeah. James. Yes. My choice, Phantom of the Paradise. Oh, oh yeah. Classic. That's like the best song score ever written. There you That's go. Amazing. That's fantastic. Yeah. I'm looking it up right now. Or how about American Graffiti? Yes. Sure. Oh, yeah. That's well, a, that okay. is a great soundtrack. If, if yeah. we're going to go mo- modern, I'm going to say Purple Rain. Love sure. it. Yeah. 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 Well, exactly. and, and Purple Rain is, that's interesting. But Sue, if I was to ask you. <laughs> By the way, Larry, but not Larry, really that Larry imagine if you will, <laughs> I'm in a sweatshirt that barely covers my ass and I've cut the neck out of it. <laughs> I'm, I'm there, I'm with you. Boots. I'm wearing red boots and I'm in the front row of a Prince concert at the Cow Palace, Matt. Oh! <laughs> in San Fr- South San Francisco. Yeah. And so if you say anything about Purple Rain, I will I will take no. my my flash dance t shirt and strangle <laughs> you with it. Look, I'm a fan Great of flash movie. dance. Okay. I really I'm love a, that movie. I'm a fan of flash dance, okay? But oh, what I, a feeling. I just wanted to say, speaking of feeling. You know, we mentioned some Star Trek. There's a lot of great, beautiful Star Trek music. Is there a favorite of yours? Are we going back to Star Trek music? No, I don't know. No, I I don't know. We moved on. Star Trek edition. We did. There's three songs. I I don't know. I have no idea besides the ones that are Star Trek, the motion picture, Star Trek II, the Wrath of Khan. Star Trek Trek motion picture is a great score. I, I have sure. no idea. I don't, I'm not that steeped in it. I like Star, I like Star Trek. It's nice. <laughs> but I don't know the fucking score to every single shot. Okay, Sue, come on. You have to admit. I love Larry, but I don't know anything about Larry. Though. Sue, on the Next Generation soundtrack, the track Picard enters Ready Room. Come on. <laughs> That is and the melody is really catching piece of music. Yeah. It's like Dennis McCarthy. Uh, very funny. That's very funny. Well, very you know, funny. Way, way, way to yes I, and um, Larry, Larry, how did you like the I think that you're probably high school musical might be one of your favorites. <laughs> Look. I think as as comical as that is <laughs> yeah. and it is comical it's, it's not really the the, the pinnacle of How are you live? fiction fantasy or horror right. Right. you know but oh. there is you know what's funny is there is a piece of music that i loved listening to <laughs> all the time as a kid and and it's a piece of classical music did you ever listen to ducasse's the sorcerer's apprentice music do, 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 do. You know, dun, it dun, sounds like the Star dun, Trek dun, music. Dun, no, it no, does. no. Okay, dun, that dun, I recognize. Yeah, yeah, okay. And that's in the great Fantasia movie from 1940, where you have Mickey Mouse is there, and he's supposed to be the Sorcerer Prince, and he's supposed to pour the water oh, it's, into. It's the one thing. of the most famous scores around. Yeah, yeah, it's like a classic. That's a great I mean, soundtrack. That, that's that the, movie. That, huh? that is that is on the. But I mean, that score is considered a classic moment of and actually the pinnacle of animation oh it's, it's right. beautiful stunning yeah. and it, the funny thing about it i'm sure sue you know this is that this was i love the, the fact time. that i'm the focus of attention on this this is great <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't this know was, but go on larry this, you're our guest anything. this was the say first my name, time my name. this was the first time that mickey mouse had little pupils in his eyes holy this shit was, yes <laughs> oh, but i God. also know I also know it was the first time they gave him a little small package. They gave him <laughs> yeah. a little bit. He yeah. had pupils in his eyes, and that was to distract him from the fact that he had kind of a really nice, tight, hot sort of package. Yeah. Oh, you, know, yeah. Little, you know those little double button pants? Well, well yeah, it was like yeah. A, oh, they yeah. were no, very Sue, Sue, suggestive. Sue, Mini, Mini had, like this. Maybe yeah, he had a robe full no. of cheese in there. Ma- no. Mini went like this. Three no. fingers for that. Let no, me go for that. He slipped her a Mickey. Yeah, James! <laughs> oh, James! So James, he scores. He drops the mic That's onto right. his lap, oh. onto his hospital chair. If, <laughs> if I may be so bold, 
if you recall, <laughs> when you watch it, Mickey is actually wearing a robe through the whole thing. He's not. Yeah, I know. Red but shirt. you don't know what's right. under that robe. It's like, yeah, thank it's like, you. It's like a yeah. couple of comics that I worked with on a cruise ship that every but now and then look- you go by their room and you go, Hey, how you doing? They go, how you doing, Sue? And he go, oh, now I know what's under the roof. But I will say this. There was a bit of controversy when they were, when the Disney animators were figuring out how to go about the sequence where Mickey tries to stop the broom, the one single broom, and he takes an ax and he's supposed to cut up the ax. And there was... He the, cut, the, up, you he mean cut, the cut up the broom. The broom. broom. And, and there, was some, there was some controversy because they're saying, wait a minute, we can't show Mickey taking an axe. And Here's and Mickey. Us. You <laughs> can't kill a broom. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, scream. No, oh, see, what's he going to kill next? Matt, Matt, he's going to kill that. He's going to kill my garbage disposal and my no. trash bin. Oh. He's, he's an anthropomorphic. No appliances he, safe. Has arms, oh. he has arms and hands. It's like a, like a living thing. And so you have Mickey actually chopping him up and so what they did is if they the broom screams it, they decided <laughs> to show it in silhouette which they felt was that helped you know how you ne- don't actually see mickey doing it it's the silhouette so and but, i remember this actually there and i remember that the um filmmakers um the who made psycho remembered the mickey mouse broom experience <laughs> and they applied it to the filmmaking of you mean psycho. Al- that was the inspiration you mean alfred hitchcock <laughs> yeah alfred hitchcock yes you know, alfred hitchcock said you know what i don't really know how this is going to work but i saw this cartoon the other day and it seems like this is the way we're going to make it work it's so that, savage that, and brutal. Like, yeah, it's so hey, savage and brutal. And I don't want to see it, but I want to see a little bit. I'll see, you know, a little bit of hand, but I really would you know, I prefer a little bit. So we can thank yeah. Mickey Mouse for Psycho. Oh, Fantasia yeah. wow. was, really, was really influential by the fact that they kill the broom in the beginning of the film. <laughs> Right. That I never been yeah, well, done. That's before. it. That's it. Are you gonna tell me? Oh, let's let's talk about Bambi. If, oh. a, it opens with a murder. It opens with an outright murder. Right. <coughs> yeah. Excuse me. Now I I, I, I do want to say that the the broom does go on to come back to life with all little splinters turning back into all kinds of little brooms. Fucking brooms. And <laughs> And, and that whole scene. But that didn't happen with Bambi's mom. She was dead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. She yeah. stayed dead. But where, but where was Herbert West? But getting, yeah. Back, <laughs> yeah. getting back to the beauty of Fantasia. <laughs> I, I think, I think, Sue, you really like this. Is, uh, and it kind of comes full circle. Fantasia is fantastic because it, it has all these different sequences. The last sequence is the the night on Bald Mountain Suite, which is where that giant mountain turns to this giant monster creature, right? It's, like a, yeah. it's, it's not Satan, but it's a Satan-like no, it's, creature. It's, it's, it's a it's demonic like, yeah. kind of thing. Uh, no, they, I feel it was a Thetan. It's, and, it's, as a Scientology. <laughs> as a Scientologist. No, 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 no. They call it Chernabog. Thinly Chernabog. veiled. But what's oh. really cool, what's really cool, and I, I, as a fan of Creature from the Black Lagoon, what's really cool is... The woman who designed the creature look actually was an animator at Disney, and she worked on Night on Bald Mountain as an animator for that sequence. Wow. A little piece of trivia. Yeah. There you go. So in a way... Do you have a pun for that? (laughs) No, and when you said Herbert West, I was going to say Rebambinator. Hey, all right. But, But, you know, the moment is gone. Well, I would I would say this. I uh, I really appreciate the pointer to <laughs> a, a dinner conversation, but I didn't retain any of the information. Well, this has been great. <laughs> yeah, well, then, Larry, Larry, I think that's fascinating. But you know, I I absolutely do think it's fascinating. I'm I what this has made me think is that I need to pay more attention to me? some of the soundtracks. Oh. Larry, yeah. if you let me just remind you that you think I don't pay attention to you. Let me just remind yeah, you. Yeah, she, loves you. she made a she made a headshot for you. I made it in honor of you. So, you know what I'm going to ask Matt? Maybe can we photocopy that so I can have a personal? Of course, copy? yeah. You yeah. know, I've already scanned it so I could keep it, but because it's glue, it's 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 oldie worldy. Someone, my Chip, I showed Chip, and he goes, "Did you Photoshop that?" And I go, "I don't know how to do Photoshop, but I do know how to do." <laughs> <laughs> I do know heads. how to craft glue heads on things, it's which way I more like fun. better. It's I like cool. the no, retro, the physical, yeah, yeah, the retro yeah. of it. 
when you were um, growing up, did you like make little volcanoes and stuff out of paper mache and like little lava and stuff? Did you? No, like, but I did paper? make um, all, over and over again. I made um, mobiles. Oh, really? Mobiles. I sat. Like, I made yeah. mobiles with hangers, and I would make all these things. And at a certain point in my childhood bedroom, you couldn't walk through it because it was just mobiles. Really? <laughs> Yeah, you'd have to you have to know your way to get in there. Wow, what kind well, of I things? I did those too. Yeah, what kind of things did you have? Were they like planets or no, something? No, your plant like... things. I would just it was the balance and the thing, and I would sit back there with wire and string and whatever, That's and, cool. and just cut things out and make things. And and then I'd make my mom take me to the hobby shop to try to get a mobile that I could copy. Cool. Uh-huh. You know, and so then, but if you, I don't have a. I wish I had a photo. You know, the one thing is that we don't. Which is a good thing because everyone takes a photo of everything. I mean, people yes. are just no, photoing yes. their photo. They're sending you a photo of their salad. Yeah, uh, yeah, which, totally. you know, yeah, that's yeah. yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, so, mm-hmm. but don't you feel it, unless you're a chef? Don't send it to me. Right, <laughs> um, right. But I mean, I wish I had a photo of my childhood bedroom. Right, but, right. Well, you never thought of doing. Yeah, that's that true. Yeah, you don't, when yeah. you were a kid, I, mean, I actually listened. have a couple. Wow. Yeah, I, 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 you I know, too. and what posters you had on the wall, yeah. and I yeah. remember. Yeah. yeah, I've got one. I've got a picture of me holding nunchucks <laughs> with a Bruce Lee poster in the background. Wow. wow. Well, I rem- yeah, it's true, because I, I remember the stuff in my, like, uh, I had, like, Planet of the Apes photos and poster. I remember the posters and where they were on the wall. Like, I, you're right. I wish I had photos of those. James, I had I had James. Bill Cosby. Oh. I had a big, huge personality poster of Bill Cosby. Wow. Whatever happened to him? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He's done well. And Steve McQueen. Really? Ooh, yeah. Cool. Okay. Because then they were because I'm older than you guys, but you know, the big thing was to go down to the you know record store and yeah, right, right. they would have the huge poster six foot, the six foot tall posters. The, the, yeah. The oh those thing and uh-huh. with numbers on them and you go, I want that yep. one. Yeah, I want that one. Was it a, was it McQueen was it McQueen yeah. on his motorcycle? It was on his yeah. motorcycle. Yeah, I remember oh, that okay. poster. That was a classic. The Raquel I Welch. Queen, Bill Cosby, and I and had... And then Ben um, Turpin? No. I know you're a little older than us. <laughs> I know. And I... No, I wasn't, I wasn't that old, but I had... Um, uh, I believe it was Charlie Chan. Uh, no, oh. I'm kidding. I had... I'm kidding. I had um, Paul Newman and Robert Redford from uh, Butch Cassidy. Oh, cool. Wow, that's awesome. That was up there, too. Mm. But, I, yeah. but, but the, the, the biggest one that was up all the time was Bill Cosby, which is kind of... With well, mobiles and all sure. that, well, and then cool. stuffed my, toys. And, hey, my brother you know. had uh, Bridget Bardot. Yeah, oh. nice work. I think she was on a motorcycle yes. too. Yes, yeah, I right? had I had the right? classic I had the classic Farah and also Cheryl Teagues. Oh, how about oh, yeah. James, I had Farah. I had Farah. Who was on your wall? I I had a Linda Carter and you uh, Devil. I had a I had a great monster uh, poster it was uh, I, I can't remember the artist who did it but I bought it out of like scholastic you know at the elementary school they would sell these books and you could also buy this poster and it was a great great poster because it had all the classic monsters painted on it like really the good universal licenses. monsters all of them universal really? Ham, hammer king kong got really wow there. that sounds uh, great yeah yeah, and you, was, I wonder if that is something if you that you could hunt down and find. Probably, no, I, yeah, I, I have it. Yeah. I, I mean, I, oh, I you still have the poster. You have it now. I don't have the poster, but our friend Dan Roebuck had an auction several years ago, and he had a book, Doctor Shocker's auction. Oh whatever. yeah, yeah. The back, yeah. the back cover is that poster. Ah, oh, so, right. So yeah, really? we'll, we'll post it. We'll post it. It's yeah, yeah, cool. It's wonderful. Cool. Black, black cool. cool. on it. It's great. Yeah. Cool. Do, do you want me to blow your mind, Sue? Do you want me to blow your mind? You know what? I would like you to try to do it. Okay. <laughs> so when I was a kid, you know, I had a lot of great posters in my room. One of them was the creature from the Black Lagoon. And guess what? It's right here. <laughs> That's wow. the same one. It's right behind me. Mind blown, Larry. <laughs> this, this, <laughs> this poster that is behind me, this is the original one that I had in my room. And because, you know, it had tack holes and stuff, I actually had it fixed onto like foam core. That's, cool. yeah, that's great. That's so, great. Yeah, yeah, I wish I did that to mine, my posters. This yeah. mine from yeah. when I was a kid. I still have my my Wolfman, my Dracula, my King Kong. I still have those. The one I wanted, these were posters that you could get out of the backs of, of, of Famous Monsters magazine. The one that yeah. I always wanted was the Beast of 20,000 Fathoms. 
And that was I big I couldn't black find and white it. one, right? Yeah, big beautiful black yeah. and white. And and the the auction that James was talking about, uh, the Dan Roebuck collection, I was able to get it through Dan. Dan cool. had it, and he actually had it protected. It was in on foam core as well. So I have that. That's oh, nice. Is it framed or no, no, no. up in your it's, home? It's, or? It's, it's on foam core. It's it's for when I get my special room made. But did and you? And when ever, is that going to happen, Larry? Yeah. Probably the same time James gets his. <laughs> <for, laughs> okay. We'll okay. have a big party when that happens. May, right. may I make a suggestion? Please. Take these things out of storage and put them up. Yes. You, what are you Here. waiting for? If what are you any waiting time for? to do it now? And it's time right. to do it. Yes. When you're home, it's time stuck. to do it. And you know yeah. what? And if your if your significant other says that not goes in the house, you know what you say? No, it does. This goes <laughs> up in the house. It's like my mother did this forever with like, oh, we can't use the good china, so we used it right, three right. times. Right. And then she died. You know, right. and and uh, <laughs> do I, I'm serious. I mean, we're yeah, all yeah. of a certain age. Well, sure. what are you yeah. waiting for? Yes. Look, I, Put look, your shit when I, out there. Okay, yes. look, if I if I'm, I'm sorry, to, done with my lecture. Okay, now I'm just saying. Now, if I'm going to my grave soon, and I don't take that poster out, just the knowledge that I have it rolled in a tube for no one to see though. That is so. But if you know, Larry, Larry, I get it. I get that you <clears> like <throat> having that, but take it out look at it and just go, I'm going to spend some money and frame this really well. Yeah. Look, and Larry. I'm going to put it a place. That's going to walk by it. James, you could do this. Oh, yeah. 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 And and I'm going to walk. Sean is showing us his look collection. Look at that Sean. It's, 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 Sean is like, he, he walks into this room of joy for him. It, when we, when we got this house, we that. looked at this extra room. This is like an extra bedroom. It's like, this is going to be the fun room. This is going to be the oh. toy and DVD room. I've got I've got also, glass you could, cabinet you, after glass cabinet filled with yeah. Stuff. That's why, how you, why, I, why what why I don't understand about you is that you you've got a poster in a tube, and so you like the idea of the collectible, but you don't enjoy. Yeah, it's like it's, it's just making totally sense. Totally ass backwards of enjoying a piece of art. Well, now we're all jumping on Larry. I'm just going to say <laughs> let, a this is a continual be, argument, know, a not an argument, but a take discussion this, that we've had. Take this precious thing, have it framed well, spend the money to frame it very well, exactly what you want, and just put it in your hallway, even if it's not in a showcase position. And then when you're just walking down the hall to the restroom, you walk right by it and you get to see it every day. Yeah, nope. if, you, if you think owning it is, is fun, Larry, just think if you see it every day. Imagine looking at it. Yeah. I mean, wouldn't but, that but be amazing? To defend mm -hmm. Larry, Larry does have... A good amount of his stuff displayed, actually, in yes. his house. Well, I don't James, see him showing me around his house. Sean's all, all over this shit. Sean's going to show me the entire house. Let's go meet the wife. <laughs> <laughs> James, her. James, you need to go tomorrow yes. Yes. and get you really some do. bookshelves or something. You're get stuck delivered. up there in Palm Springs. What, like, go get, yeah, go. Do it oh, now. Yeah. Do it. Like, James, I remember it, James, like, the James first time used I to went have, to your place. Yeah, we were all there. It was I amazing. I had a room. A giant room. saying that, but do it again. Diorama. James, James, say, I have a room instead of I had a room. You have no, a room. No, I, I have a room. And it's a, it's, this is something that I am. I, I, I want to do this. There's a great amount of satisfaction in planning this. I've got notes of how every yeah, you've been case planning it for 10 years. That's fun. You're it's right. James has too. notes. Larry has a tube. Come on. <laughs> but I do get it's it. Happening. Is, it, it is fun that the fantasy of working it out. Yes. I, I, I'm not living that fantasy. How about well, that's going to happen. It's going to happen. Okay. I do and when feel... you do Vera take pictures like crazy, yes. oh, yeah, film it. You got to film it. We're going to post it. Put it every day. Yeah, we'll put it on oh, yeah. something. Oh, I, yeah. I, I do feel that in this whole, because we are, as we all know, in a really crazy world. This yes. is, this, especially now. This what's ha Especially now is it's exactly what I'm talking about, Sean. Right, right yeah. now, and this isn't going to end soon. And oh. who, it's going to keep going and not to be a big bummer about it. So it's like these things that sometimes we put off, like we're saving something for yeah. another day. Yeah, absolutely. I really, I feel so strong about it, whether it's putting out whatever, whether it's your poster or your models or this, or telling somebody you always want to tell them, it's time, get on it. <laughs> yeah, but, yep. but True. You, you know, you bring up a really good thing. I'll just say, just today on Facebook, 
a, a friend of ours, uh, David Weiner, former editor of Famous Monsters, had a picture of a bunch of bubblegum cards, vintage bubblegum cards that he had opened up. And I came this close. I came this close to taking a picture of my whole box of Famous Monster cards still sealed in all their little packages with the gum from 1973. And I almost took a picture and said, are you crazy? I still have mine sealed. And I'm thinking, <laughs> oh my God, I'm glad I didn't do it because- yeah, Because he's actually but, enjoying them yeah. the way they were intended to be but, but, but also, minus the gum. But there's, there's a difference <laughs> when if, if you open it, it loses value. There is a difference on those kind of things. But if, sure. but if you're not planning to ever sell it- But if you're not it, ever Yeah, that's the thing. Those, that's the know, thing, if, right. yeah. But that's right. why that's why um, I have the Gorn and I have uh, <laughs> Talus Four and I have all those guys. They're in my collection. Yeah, that's yeah. so cool. <laughs> that's true. But I do think. Are we wrapping it up, Matt? Well, you know, it's at some you. point. No, are we wrapping it up, Matt? No, no, Sue. It was almost like you were getting to a great ending there. It felt. Oh, it I'm felt sorry. like a big. Yeah, it was a nice kind crescendo. of. Oh, I fucked it up. Yeah. Well, no, no, but well, no, you, but we can keep going. Exactly. But, but, but Sue, can you do that again? I if we can recreate this. a spontaneous moment, that would be fantastic. <laughs> I would just say that I just, I think at this point, you guys have, and all of you have amazing collections. Thank you. I just Sue. wouldn't Thank wait you. to enjoy them in the way that you want to enjoy them. And I, I don't agree. mean to unwrap them and ruin them or do this. I just, Get out that the, the you you have your favorite image and poster that has been sitting in a tube for twenty five years. <laughs> Get it out. Oh yeah. Let's let's see it. Then when you walk <laughs> by, you go, "Holy shit! I own that. That's fantastic." Yeah. <laughs> um, it does, otherwise, otherwise, yeah. someone who's related to you is going to go through your stuff and go, "Oh, well, here's this poster." Mm. They're going to toss it. That's and true. Gonna, That's true. They're going to toss it. Toss it or give it away or whatever. And and I'm telling you, I've been going through all my stuff and there's a few things that are either falling out of their packages or have been in their packages that I've opened. How do you like that, Larry? Oh, man, Ooh. this is a and new I, world. And I put them on my <laughs> shelf and I was so happy that I did it because you know what I thought? I thought, I'm never going to sell this. Right. And right. if I just keep it in this bin... I'm getting no enjoyment from it whatsoever. Nobody is, right. Yeah, so let's put it in the shelf. And then when I die, the nightmare that someone's going to have to go through to sort through <laughs> yeah. all my crap, well, that's their problem. See, right. I, we, we did a show some, uh, some time ago, Sue, where, where Matt let us know exactly how he felt. It was like, you know, he's holding on to it until when he goes, it's like, fuck that. I, I went out on top with all this stuff surrounded by all my stuff. Is that a legal document for whether people who have the, have the right to snuff you if you go on to life support? Is that a legal document? <laughs> well, I'll tell you this, we, and we've discussed this, is that if I go before the rest of these clowns, <laughs> I want to, to be able to come in and take what they want. That's right. And then, my, now, my, now, my, now, do you have that? Have you guys established some sort of legal thing? Yes, my, my I wife and I. My have. wife and I yeah. did a whole living trust thing, and we have the same thing. Where if our, our collections, we divvy it up to you guys. We have it all. Right now. <gasps> but also so to let to let you way. guys also great, uh, what you, subcontract, and to let other people bring in some other people that like. Hey, I know this person would like it. That you know, a mutual right. friend of <laughs> ours. To come in and go, oh, I, 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 think, I think this person would like that piece. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Now, Matt, this is interesting to me. Okay. So there is obviously enormous amount of value. Some of those things more valuable than others. In sure. Collections. Yeah. Collections. Yeah. But, there, but, but granted, you guys have some amazing collectibles. Amazing. Yes. More, yeah. So I, and I've, I have seen you and all I can think about is dusting. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, but and I've been in your, I've been in your homes, and I all I can think is like, oh my gosh, I cabinets don't help. Know. I don't glass, know what to do. Putting them in a a covered glass cabinet helps. Okay, well that's that. good to know for those in the future. <laughs> um, but your spouses, your children. Yes. Are there any children involved here? Got you, one. Larry's got a child. It's like it's like okay. Do I let my uh, give it to my friends what they can pick over, or do I allow my spouse to sell as much of this as possible to or my or my child to be part of their 
financial legacy? Well, I think I would like- I don't like think this the is the way you wanted to end this show, but this is so pretty interesting. <laughs> well, I think it's interesting when you think about where sure. you, I mean, yeah, I have sure. things, I, I, I have, I have um, silver. I, because I'm a cook and I have all these things mm-hmm. I have. And uh, let me give you my address and phone number, but I have, <laughs> um, I have a lot of uh, sterling silver, silverware, and I have sets sure. and I have all these things yeah. that would this. Those specific things have designated to people who appreciate that. So right, right, right. Like yeah. that. You know they're going to go to somebody who appreciates them. Yeah, somebody yeah. who will actually use it and do this. It's also one of those things, Larry, I was talking about. It's like I, I, I've started to save it like my mom. It's like, oh, it's only the fancy occasion. I was like, why am I doing this? I should right. be using this. Right, right. This I'm, is the I, best I, thing. I'm, I'm working on that. Like my wife and I, we brought that up. I made a big thing about the fancy dinnerware and, and, and – <laughs> a friend of ours said, Hey, it's your good dinnerware. You got to get it out and use it. You know, what, what do you do? Keep it in a cabinet your entire life just cause it's good, you know, use it. So right, well, right. But it's also, the, it's that thing of like, you buy something expensive, like you're going to wear and you go, Oh, I'm only going to wear it on special occasions. Right. And then I started thinking, like, I'm going to amortize this thing. I'm going to wear it 500 times. It's my favorite thing. And now it costs me $1 a time that I put this on. (laughs) Well, I'm getting to this place right now where I'll have a shelf or a cabinet set up and I have that for a while. And then I go, okay, I'm going to swap it out. I'm going to, Get some stuff from my, yeah, you know, storage space. Yeah, you're going to change it around. Change it around a little bit. Yeah. 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 So, so, you know, there's a, a rotation where I can I enjoy no everything. Time. Yeah, I've and, that. But, but when I die, of course I would love my friends. Don't say it, man. Don't say it, man. <laughs> it could happen. I, I plan on cheating death, but uh, that's yet to be seen. Yeah. Well, you had a good run. I had a great run, <laughs> yeah. and I want my friends to have my treasures. But ultimately, when I'm dead, it doesn't matter because I'll be dead. And so, however it goes, well, if, if what people if you come want back to as, a, as a ghost and haunt everybody if they're not using your action figures correctly, <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 if all of a sudden, all of a sudden, like you're Sean, you're talking about it, like we're having a conversation, and all of a sudden this goes. So anyway, it's nice to see you guys. Who am I going to? Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, I just, okay, this is all coming back around to, Larry, take that piece of art and put it on the wall. Thank just you. I've, I've, you know, I just, a, a little while ago, I got a really cool piece of art and it's still in the tube and you have inspired me because you are absolutely right. And I guess start small. I'm going to do this one thing and, you know. Hopefully. And also framing is expensive. It's a commitment, yeah. you know, to do mm-hmm. it. But take that piece of art. You, it has such a great story. You told the story of like what it means to you. Mm-hmm. And also, you know what, with the framing thing too, it doesn't have to be that expensive. Get it up on the wall. If you want to upgrade the framing at some point, do it. In the future, but right, right. at this point, get it up on the wall so you okay. can see yeah, it. Yeah, go to Aaron Brothers, who, by the way, has closed exactly. all their Oak locations during the <laughs> pandemic. Yeah. Um, but go to some. You, you can just buy it online and thing and put it and put it on the wall. Yeah, yeah. a million different. You go to Michaels. I think we made our point. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank, you, thank you very much. That's great advice. Yeah, yes, well, sir. and I'll be over because, wait a minute, I th- am I picking you up for a road trip or are you picking me up for the road trip? Because I'm going to come over and see if that piece of art is on your wall. Well, <laughs> we, have, we, have, we have a van, so I imagine we're picking you up. Oh, my God. Do you hang out in front of elementary schools with kittens? <laughs> <laughs> no. He just likes kittens. That's not what you think. I keep, I'm keeping this going because this is it's such a pleasure to see you guys when we're all in our weird little spaces. Yes, so I'm, just, I'm just going to keep talking. We'll go no, eight hours. This is going to be Matt's worst editing nightmare. <laughs> just like, it already you know, is. But hours. that's okay. That's I, all right. we, I, I think we cut out a lot of the framing ideas. I'll give you, I'll give you my points. <laughs> no, no, this all has to be – because what this is is it's a, a vast tapestry of yes. who we are, what we are, this what actually, we believe yeah. in, totally. and we've jumped all around to different things. This is a perfect anything goes. Yeah. Yep. Really exactly what this. it should be. 
I do think that you guys could do a. Oh, great. A Tell one- us how to do the show. Okay, here we go. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do think um, a comedy sci fi as a topic. We did it. We did it. We've done it. Uh, we no, we only did it once, right? Yeah, really? Yeah. Once, I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know. I just, because I was thinking about all these movies. I was thinking about, like when we were talking about Edge of Tomorrow, you yeah. have uh, this moment that in the middle of this whole thing, you have Tom Cruise saying, he, oh, don't kill me again. And he starts getting laughs of like yes. this, this, this. And there's, all of a sudden there's a joke in the middle. <laughs> Actually, that's true because well, comedic moments in serious films. It's serious. That's a good yeah. idea. Yeah, because we actually did good. more. We did outright comedies that were right. Sort of, oh but no, actually, but, but, comedy in comedy in horror in or sci-fi that's, science fiction. That's, that's not a bad also, idea. Bill Paxton in Aliens. Oh yeah, sure. Oh, sure. Aliens has so sure. many comedians. Yeah, yeah. Has, yes. I, I, but so like so natural you, comedy in the moment, it works. Right. Yeah, pick out comedy moments, and I don't know about the creature movies, but I'm sure there are. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Anything. Go back to the old Universals. There's some. Yeah. Cool no, there's yeah. there there's a great classic moment, and and when I saw a Creature uh, not too long ago with a huge audience, there's a moment where Lucas goes, Egh. and just the way he says it, <laughs> got he, does a get whole the laugh. he does he gets a huge laugh, and that's his character. He's such a yeah. great character. Everyone loves Captain L- Lucas. And when he does that, because he has these certain little mannerisms or little groans or something throughout the film, yeah. and when he makes that noise at this particular moment, it makes the audience, it, it ha- it's yeah. like a relief moment. It can be like yeah, funny it is. It's a, it's, a, it's a release valve in the whole yeah. thing. That it's, it's a human show. moment. Yeah, yeah because yeah. If, if you look at uh, Richard Carlson and Richard Denning, I mean, these two guys, there's a lot of uh, conflict between these guys. There's really no comedy at all. So you rely on right, right. The, you know, the other, uh, some of the other characters, and Lucas is your man. In it. Right. And, and but it's that's not why like- John Landis says when it comes to uh, American Werewolf in London that why there's humor in that film is that because that's what humans do. That's right, a coping right. mechanism. Right, right. And I absolutely see that. And I know Larry doesn't, for some strange reason, he doesn't like that movie because he thinks it's too funny or it's poking I, fun at something. When it's not, it's actually a really brilliant piece of it filmmaking. It kind of crosses the whole range of emotions in that movie. Yeah, actually. and yeah. is able to link a true horror story with some really, really funny moments and right, right. kind of buddy picture moments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I also would say like Star Trek is a classic example sure. of using oh, oh my God. Yeah. all Absolutely. the time. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the trouble with Tribbles and the, the but you, just, and just the dynamic, But just the dynamic of Kurt Spock the and dynamic, McCoy. So yeah, the classic. dynamic of, like, raising your eyebrows, a little Spock, or, you know, you're yeah, going to be yeah. serious, all that stuff. And also, like, even in the next generation, you have these dumb things with Worf, and he's sitting there, in the bar with uh, Whoopi Goldberg's, what's it? What's his? Uh, Guinan, 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 and and uh, what is ten forward the bar? Yeah, ten yeah, forward, yeah. forward, yes. And she he goes, no, taste this like he goes. What is it? And the guy he tastes it. He goes, mm, I like this. And she goes, and he goes, it tastes like uh, battle it's a warrior's or drink. A yeah. warrior's drink. And she goes, it's prune juice. He goes, a warrior's drink. And it's a joke out of the middle about prune juice <laughs> with a Klingon. <laughs> right. And then we yeah. Go, yeah, yeah. Well, I, Deep Space I, I Nine. I'm just telling you, I'm pitching this for an hour long. Deep Space, <laughs> Deep Space sure. Nine had Quark's Bar, and Quark yeah, yeah. was a great comedy. The Ferengis were fantastic and a source of a lot of really great humor. There's an episode that they did in Deep Space Nine called uh, Little Green Men, and it's Roswell. It's the Roswell crash. Yeah. But you find out it was a real thing, and it was Ferengis that travel back in time. Wow. <clears throat> and it's really handled well. Yes. Yeah, and funny. there's comedy in it where every human being is smoking. Because there are, <laughs> it's, you know, it's all characters from the past. So everybody is smoking. That's a terrific episode. Really funny, but yet still fits within. You know, right, yeah, the right. universe it's that they're in. Broad. Yeah. It's not yeah, it's not like a gag. It's, it's like right. an extra it yeah. fits within the storyline. Right. Did right. I did I tell you about do you remember the Hilton in Las Vegas used to have this oh, art yeah. Yes, yeah, I've been there. Yeah. So James, James, um, you would have loved it. No, James <laughs> still would have been there. So anyway, a couple of idiots and I, we went there to go to the Star Trek experience. And I am not Las Vegas to me is 
Ugh. the worst thing that's ever happened. Me too. On planet. <laughs> it, it's just like and people go, oh, we're going to Las Vegas. And Ugh. I just go. <laughs> mm. So um, we go to the Star Trek experience because it was the reason why I went. And you go to the bar, which is the bar. Quark's bar. Think, yeah. It's Quark's bar. Yeah. It's not 10 forward. It's Quark's bar. Right. So I'm at the bar. We're at friends. You know, you look at the bar menu. Uh, it's one. got Tranya. It's yeah, got all right. that stuff on it. And in the middle of it, a waiter who is in full Ferengi and <laughs> got the big ears, full makeup, comes up and goes, may I help you? <laughs> it's like right on my shoulder. I'm at the bar with the friends. And I touched his ear. And all of a sudden, you know, because he that's their sensual position. Yes. And of course. <laughs> I'm in the middle of Las Vegas interacting with a fake Ferengi. I touched his ear and he goes, oh. <laughs> this poor waiter. This poor waiter. This is actionable in a, in, a, in a real thing. This is an actual event. I'm sure it's not the first time you've touched a Ferengi's lobes. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I mean, it's just, if, if, that was, if there was any reality in that, that would be as if I just... A waiter came up and said, "I take your order," and I reached between their legs and said, "Yes, here." Let me <laughs> hey, Sue, <laughs> Sue, Carrie, and I were there, and we're sitting in uh, Cork's bar, uh-huh. and we're having a Tranya and some Cisco burgers, <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden, this, this Klingon comes over to me. Oh no! Yeah, he's like, "Are you the comedian Matt Weinhold?" <laughs> And I was like, yes, I am. I am a big fan of yours. <laughs> I, have, I have a human friend who worked with you at a comedy club a couple of years ago. And uh, he loves your act. And, and it turns out this guy was the opening act that oh, I and had that's what he was doing. somewhere. That's and great. What he's doing now. His name was Mark Weitz. And he also had this act where he was an alien comedian. That's See, funny. You, you know, it's, it's, it's it, better than him going, you are you the comedian, uh, Matt Weinhold? He goes, yes. You have no honor. You have no honor. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I am going to say this. I went through that whole Star Trek experience, and I, and I actually went through the whole thing where you get yeah. Trained. I loved it. Yeah, yeah. You know, know, the, there's the whole interactive part. Was, the bar yeah. is just the bar. That's and right, look, right. If you were yeah. a fan of Star Trek, James, again, I think you'd love it. But 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 it, it's like it was great if you were a fan. You could go. Oh yeah. It, and it made you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm I'm actually for this moment in Vegas. I'm actually experiencing it. Yeah. And it was. <clears throat> I was so devastated to hear that. You know, that along with the hotel. You know, they uh, imploded it and and built something else. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was a little mini Star Trek. Disneyland. Yeah, it was. It right. was a little mini. If you have this sort of mythology that you like and whatever, it put yeah. you into you. They 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 would take groups into an interactive moment with the bridge. Yeah, that was really problem, cool. I love that. Yeah. And they were getting attacked. Yes. And then all of a sudden, they would ask somebody who was there who was on the tour. Yeah. If, Small. It would be like a group of maybe ten. Yeah, yeah. And they would say, "Ensign so and so, you know, say this." <laughs> and the person would go, "Absolutely, sir." And then they just <laughs> re- respond. And it, but it was all you know, people who were acting, and it was very silly. The, and the yeah, guy, the bar, <clears throat> the bar was great. The bar was great. Like the guy who anything. played the Klingon, Mark Weitz. Uh huh. Your biggest the, fan. That yeah, that guy. Another time that Sorry. we went there. We went on that ride, and he was in a different role. He was one of the bridge crew. Oh, my gosh. And so Carrie and I are, you know, in the ride, and, uh, and he walks by me, and I recognize him, and he gives me this look like, please don't fuck with me. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was so he was so in character. He was yeah. right, right, right. <clears throat> yeah, you great. have to be. I can't even imagine that would be very hard for me to to do that role. But that silliness, and you know, we all know it's silly and fun. It's and cool, this, but it was kind of it was just dumb. And well, let's go to the well, spot. But but it wasn't like we we're like oh whatever. But it was. But they they, they took fun. their they actually spent some real attention to it too. Because even like that, what we walk through the timeline and you see all the different. It was like this kind of display case. Yeah, they had walk, the thing where you walk by the really cool of costumes. And yeah, like that. That it was, was really cool. a lot of there love was some love into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, so, and, so it's gone now, but it hasn't gone anywhere else. 
No. No. Oh, well, like, like you said, but at Star Trek Disneyland, there could easily be a Star Trek theme park. Why doesn't that happen? Well, no. uh, what, Dis- no, Disney, the audience is too small. Disney, yeah. Disney, Disney um, did a beautiful I, I job. Disney did a beautiful job with the whole Star Wars experience, you know? Yeah. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's geared maybe towards kids. You could Yeah, say I guess you're right. It's more, it's Star less, Trek. yeah. And, and the other thing true. too, and let's, let's be perfectly honest, you know, the Star Wars, regardless how we feel about the films, you know, they're still very popular with a younger sure. Yeah, that's more of a kid, family-friendly, kid-friendly and, and the Star franchise. Trek, the Star Trek stuff has been more a, adult. More yeah, adult, you're right. yes. You're yeah. right. And, and let's, uh, the other thing is, Look, uh, uh, Matt says, said it. You know they're really not the greatest right now. So well, yeah, right, yeah, right so now, yeah. If if you're well, going to make this kind of investment when you're going right. to build these structures to have people come and visit, mm-hmm. you want something that you know seems like it's going to be lasting a while. Yeah. If Star Trek was part of the Universal Universe or the Disney Universe, then it would be there. I would agree. Probably right. But it would somehow make it work. <laughs> Someday. It's paramount. Probably. Yeah. And so, yeah. I mean, there would be some sort of acknowledgement of it. That's well, true. Yeah. What, what, what could happen, though, Sue, is like what Warner Brothers did with the Harry Potter franchise. And that is... Right, like they, one they, section. No, well, right. no, it's like Warner Brothers. They, they lease or licensed the, their stuff to Universal. So right. Universal's made that whole Harry Potter world. And, yeah. And, and, and Which is really what? cool. I've talked to some people at Warner Brothers, at Warner Brothers and they said, look, we're not theme park people. We felt, look, let's give it to someone who they've dealt with the theme park stuff. They know how to make it good. And it's like, and we get a check. You know, we get a check right, every month. Right. Or however that relationship. I'd is. like to check. I'd like to see that check. <laughs> um, <laughs> but also, Star Trek is old. It's from the 60s. It doesn't have what you were saying, Larry. It has no youthful following. And Harry not Potter, much. you're right. Really. You're right. No, no, there's there are no kids that are talking about Star Trek. Nah. No, not little is, kids, this is, yeah. This is granny talk, and it's <laughs> it's it is it is. Yeah. I mean, you're, are you telling me that the big the big powerhouse Star Trek thing is Picard, and he's two thousand <laughs> years old? You bring it's up like, a real it, good that's point. True. That's it, true. Yeah, yeah. It's like well, Tales the, uh, of the Crypt, but you know, James. It, if the J.J. Abrams reboots had taken off like the yeah. Marvel universe, oh, yeah. took I, off, if they were good, right? It'd be, yep. it would be it'd be a totally different story. That's true. You're right. Been, You're so. right. Yeah, right. yeah, but and but I didn't hate those movies as much as a lot of people did. Yeah, I don't love them. I don't love did. them. I don't love them. But I, I guess I, like, I just like I like some of the stuff. I Chris mean, Pine. I, I think Chris Pine actually is a good embodiment of. No. I, I think it was. A, I thought it was the a cast. good cast. The cast yeah, cast was fine. Yeah, and it, it had the origin story sort of makes sense with the whole thing. But there, it's just that it didn't. It, I agree with you, James. If it, it lacks Potter, the intelligence of Harry what Potter Star Trek a, should be, is a poor example. And the only way of this is that those are books that are ubiquitous. Yes. Yes. Right. Internationally, it, it had a built-in internationally, following. Internationally. Yes. Right. Around the world, and it's there's and they keep the generation keeps adding to the next thing because because everyone who read them who's now twenty five. Yep. Right. It's the next thing. It's it, they're it's passing like, it to their kids. It, You're it, it, have like, you read them, Sue? Um, no. I've, I've read. Had, I've had uh, my niece read me uh, uh, over the holidays. Read aloud one of them to me. Is that like, right? For wow. For about yeah. a week and a half. Every time I started cooking, because I cooked dinner every night, uh-huh. she just sat there and read them. When oh, she- that's awesome! That's cute. That's cool. That's cool. Um, and and we, we we are eventually going to do a Harry Potter episode eventually because there's so Yay. much to talk about. No, and it's <laughs> so gonna- why don't we talk to Universal that it costs thirty five dollars to buy a stick? And <laughs> well, yeah, my, my wife and I went to that Harry wow. Potter world, which is great. And my wife is a huge fa- Harry Potter fan, it's and she bought stick. she bought a, she bought no their wands and they're their magical. It is a stick. They're, they're, they're magical, magical wands. wands. There's there may be a they unicorn hair in there. There may be yeah. unicorn a unicorn hair is in there. You know what? Yeah, I, I, I'll listen. I will put a very precious hair in <laughs> stick. And sell it to you. <laughs> I, I think, it, I think one of those got that. stuck in the optical printer. Yay, full circle. <laughs> well, well, this this has been great. <laughs> oh. Sue, thank you so much for being with us this evening. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, thank you. This so is a pleasure. So much fun. This is great. Actually, we yeah. always love yeah. you, and we we have like a handful of special guests who are like family. Yes. And. Mm. Uh, and yeah, every time we look at that headshot, 
I will think of you. I will think of Larry. I will think of the creature <laughs> and Blue. Sheila E. and Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. It's really great to be here. I love seeing you guys. This I'm is really seeing fun. You. It's yeah, so this was fun. um this was almost as fun as having you in person. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And but we're gonna do the road trip when the when the COVID dies down, we're gonna get in that van. We're gonna go to Vasquez Rocks and we're gonna Larry, play, Larry, play an endless me. loop of Star Trek fight music. Absolutely. Larry, send me the measurements of your lube canister and uh, I'll pick out the uh, caravan. All right. <laughs> done and done. Again, Sue, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, Matt, what do you say? What do you say we... Let's give a toast to I Sue raise my Murphy. seltzer water. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Sue Murphy. Woo, cheers. It's a pleasure. I'm, I'm toasting my computer. I don't know what's happening here, but I'm right. okay. <laughs> I'm concerned about James drink there. I don't know what that is. I don't know how much I don't know how much vinegar he's drinking right now. <laughs> it's a lot of vinegar. <laughs> Thanks you guys. Thank, Thank you, you Sue. Sue. Thank you. Thank you so much. Time for a listener shout out. 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 This goes out to our two listeners who've recently purchased the Monster Party merch from eBay. Whoa, whoa, cool. whoa, 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 what? <laughs> Daniel Sonoda from Arlington Heights, Illinois. All Sweet. right. Oh. And Rick Weiss from Olivet, Missouri. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, gentlemen, for your support. Glad Thank you, you very much. Like the yes. show and hope you enjoy the merch. Yeah. And let's remind yeah. everybody that our merch is still available on our eBay store, which is Monster Party Store. We still have various sizes of T-shirts available. Our new Glow in the Dark T-shirts. Ooh. Right? Yeah, they've been and getting the- glowing reviews. That's right. <laughs> 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 uh-huh. And of course, our monster party caps are legendary for having billions and billions oh, of stitches in the logo. It's, no, not oh, billions. Oh. They do have a. If there's a lot of stitches. There is a substantial amount of stitches. It's a good amount. <laughs> you, you can't go wrong. And uh, apart from our eBay store, again, monster party store, uh, you can also reach out to us directly on Facebook. But right now, let's remember too that the shipping is free. We don't know how much longer we can do this. It's right. true. But right now, the shipping is free. For the time being. Yes. And if you're a Patreon member, a Patreon monster partier, you will get with your order of whatever you order, some extra goodies donated Ooh. to us by Jason Lindsay and Biff Bang Pow Toys. We'll just throw you an assortment of treasures. And... Nice. uh It'll make your day, I promise. I, I mean, it, it's not much to become a, a Patreon member, is it? Okay, first of all, it's not Patreon. It's, it's Patreon. Patreon. I don't know how many times it's, you have to tell you this. It's really expensive, actually, to, to become a Patreon member. But a yeah, Patreon no, that's, member that's is like a, nothing. Yeah, Patreon, <laughs> you got to, it's like you to be $3 a million. million dollars. It's yeah. a really elite, private yeah. community. Look, yeah. I, I spend more on gum <laughs> each month. <laughs> that's true it's five dollars a month by yeah. the way five dollars a month to be Nothing. a patreon member five dollars is a good amount of gum <laughs> although i don't know what gum's going for these days that's a lot okay all right then i take yeah. it back but with that five dollars that you pay for being a patreon member you will get deals like we just described you will also get bonus audio and video we're always trying to come up with ideas of new things that we can offer you so it's really worth it and aside from all that you'll be doing us a solid you'll be supporting us and for that we are forever in your debt hey if this road trip with sue murphy uh, materializes it might just end up on patreon that's what? right patreon so can I say Patreon? So is it, I think you said Patreon, which is now a third. <laughs> Look, please, er, or everybody, just subscribe to our Patreon uh, <laughs> account. Patreon. Oh, that's a <laughs> that's a disgusting site, and it's free. <laughs> Thank God, it's free. Speaking of Patreon, Matt, do we have any new members? 
Yes, we do. We actually have a new member, and his name is Nicholas Carter. All right. Nicholas. Nicholas Carter. Welcome aboard, Nicholas. And Welcome. now you can brag to your friends about just the wonders, the just the sheer onslaught of entertainment right. and fun that you're getting during this difficult time. That's right. <laughs> And hey, let's remind our listeners that you can find us on Facebook and YouTube at Monster Party TV, our Twitter handle at Monster Party HQ, Instagram is also Monster Party HQ. And hey, whatever platform you're listening to us on, please take a moment, write a review. We'd love to hear your thoughts and we will read it on the air. On that note, I am Matt Weinhold. I'm Sean Sheridan. I'm Larry Stroth. And I'm James Gonis. Keep America strong. And remember, during this difficult time, anything goes, especially with plenty of lube. All right, here she comes. <laughs> here she comes again. All right. Sue Murphy. The lovely and talented Sue Murphy. I'm sorry, I can't hear you, though. You can't hear me? No, I can't hear Sue. We can't hear Sue. Well, this is a new way we're going to do the podcast. This is like silent. <laughs> yes. Oh, you can hear me. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, good. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, you, I missed sorry, that. Sorry, Larry. Not all of us have hearing <laughs> problems. <laughs> people are just not aging well. It's just not <laughs> for them. Yeah. Hey, hey, right. uh, hey, James, do you recognize two characters behind Sue? Uh, oh, look at that. <laughs> wait, no. I, they're they're down in the to yeah. Yeah, like her this, papers. It's this See, cult this, show that kind of made some noise. It's like in this the obscure 60s. show. Yeah, they may have heard of. <laughs> yeah, it's having a bit of a comeback, but we'll yeah. see. We'll see how it goes. We're going to talk all about that, of course. I don't think it'll last. <laughs> <laughs> God oh, damn I see it. Now. I'm so I happy that now. Sue Murphy is with us again. Yes. Uh, are you guys, are you actually recording at this point? I'm sorry I'm late. I was on a conference call. Of course Ooh. you were. Yeah. No, no, no. no. We would Everybody expect nothing less. suck it. Uh, say hello to show business for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Show Talks. business is so confused right now. Tell them it, I miss them. <laughs> yeah, I miss I miss it too. I miss this thing called working. Yeah, we're. Uh, oh. I've I've got some great model kits though. That uh, yeah, yeah. You're gonna you're gonna love when they're done. Oh, my Dremel's been working overtime. Yeah, yeah. They watch yeah. Doctor Pimple Popper and they go, oh, hey. Yeah. You know? Okay, I can't even watch that show. I'm no. sorry. Oh, I love that it. Is, oh, I, I could watch that all day. Okay, man. That's, just, that's no, I don't get anytime, it. If you you lance a boil for me, it's like it's soothing. Well, it's you know, like a Zen people, garden. People say that they watch it before they go to bed. It it's like a meditative calmness of yeah. watching people. That's do right. That. All right. Yeah. Oh, Sean, because it's it's well, I was I wasn't going to say it's right up your alley, but it, you know, no, it's not. I know I have no desire to watch that. But. <laughs> and Larry, what's the other thing? Botched, you know, that's the sh oh, that's yeah. really show on yeah, never watched typi either. typically it's like you you know, you, you put a woman who's got these huge breasts and she talks about oh yeah, I you know uh, they got messed you, up. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just <laughs> and these two know, that, doctors who couldn't be more scripted. It's that one I yeah. really hate. Yeah. Are you saying that reality television could be scripted. No. Okay, all right, calm no. down. Hold on no. now. Wait a wait minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What What sort of crazy podcast did I step into? Look, <laughs> I watch the TV, and I know that ghosts are real now. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, can I, I'm going to get a glass of rosé, and it'll take Please me two do. seconds. No, go, go for Please. it. Godspeed. You know, uh, I saw It's already movie. going good. Yeah, I saw yeah. A, really, a really interesting thing on, on child actors, and Will Wheaton was interviewed at length. And I actually had no idea. I mean, he's this he's not a stupid guy. He's aware no, of the whole I hate I hate Wesley stuff. And no, I mean no. he's, yeah, he's kind and, of a he's kind of a monster kid too, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, no, he loves science fiction. But what yeah, I thought yeah. was interesting, what I didn't know was and of course he did that film Stand By Me. <laughs> um <laughs> hey, all right. He's, he, with, he's it, finally it, arrived. <laughs> He, he and River Phoenix were really good friends. They, he said we were like best friends once they did the film. He said he was a year and a half older than me. We were really, really close. 
But then he's talking Will Will Wheaton. So I I was listening to it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But what was sad was was their their past went in a different. It started to go in a different direction. And River Phoenix started, "Hey, I'm gonna like you know dabble in you know some drugs, kind of a thing." And 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 drugs Will kill one guy, and all yeah, of a sudden, no, he, bad he, rap. He said when River Phoenix had passed away, you know, he hadn't spoken to him in, in like two years. And he says, you know, the thing that made him so mad was sometimes these people they get in a situation where they're surrounded by people who are just here, here, try this, try this. And they're not actually looking to like protect them. And he was, it was really, it was really sad. Well, but, thanks uh, for it this was, uh, dare moment. But it was, it was Will Wheaton. It, it was Will Wheaton. Well, and it's it also, was, and it's also right out of the movie because at the end of the movie, I mean, you know, he's the narrator, Richard Dreyfuss, <laughs> grown up. And he talks about Stand how, me, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, the River Phoenix character drifted apart and then, yeah. But yes, then he different... he dies in the movie from helping somebody else. He's exactly. trying to break up not, a fight. Right? He's not hanging out at the Viper Room getting yeah, he's high. Not, I'm in, I'm right now I'm reading the Paul Stanley biography, autobiography. Yeah. Which uh-huh. is wonderful, by the way. Mm-hmm. And Paul Stanley is talking about how he quickly saw how drugs weren't necessarily his thing in the rock and roll world. He liked, he liked the sex part. He liked the he liked sex the and rock and roll part. He liked but, the ladies. Know, Larry, I would posit the idea that if Will Wheaton had not been such a pussy and done some drugs, they might've still been friends with River Phoenix. I yeah. didn't, I was, I didn't want to yeah. say it, but she's got wait, a point. Am I, am, am I, <laughs> wait, did I not listen to the whole let rest? No, 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 I no, no. Oh, wait a minute. So Paul Stanley said, he, he goes, you know, he wouldn't do that many drugs or anything. He'd have a look, you know, a couple beers or whatever, but the crew, the crew were in, and this is like the middle of the seventies. Sure. So like people would throw drugs up on stage and pills and like the <laughs> crew would just scoop them up and eat them. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 you're going to throw a pill up on stage and it lands on stage yes. and they're walking around and then the crew kind of dies. Oh, Hey, here's a stick of gum. Oh, here's a pill. Yeah. they yeah, went, yeah. That's what, yeah, Ooh, it was a different I, I actually, time. I actually had a friend who we were on vacation together, and she came out of the room that we were sharing, and she goes, "You left um, some ecstasy out on your by your sink," and I said, "What?" <laughs> and she goes, you left the ecstasy, and their their maids are cooking the room, and I go, "I don't have any ecstasy." She goes, "Well, I just took it." <laughs> and I went. <laughs> I said, "A, I didn't have a pill there. I don't know what you took." Cut to 45 minutes later. Wah! Just, I don't know where, but she said she, she. Tripping off a rat turd? Was it, was it what? X-lax? What? No, it was, it was a drug. And I don't know. I think, I think she had it. I think it was not. I just the story was, was not true. See, no, it look. is. It's maybe apocryphal, but it's not. Um, no, I know the human being, and the human being is uh, has a drug issue. So it's like okay. I see a pill. I don't care where okay. it is. So lesson, at this, no, at this it's point, a lesson. Don't any random drug line around. Don't go. Hey, I'm going to try that. I don't know what it is. That's stupid. That's so probably not a good idea. This, I, I would. You know what? For once, Larry and I agree about this. This Choose cannot be part wisely. of this podcast. Well, no. we're going to get started. No, I, I want to hear Sue, How much of this conversation can we include in our extras? Oh, I'm fine. I'm I actually, I, my name's not Sue. My name is Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So no I'm Sue. Fine. It just seems to me this doesn't have any like sci-fi. I've got some, listen, I well, have let's start four it. experts. We'll, we'll go. I have four experts on right here at the, my bank, right here. And I have some questions and I have things that have come up. <gasps> let's cool. go. So let's and start the show. Uh, I, just, I don't know if you guys have things that you plan that you wanted to talk about. I no, don't it's jump this in is, anything, but I know it's a mishmash today. It's right? anything, yeah, goes. So anything goes. Anything yeah. goes. So just whatever you want to bring up, we'll just roll with it. I'm just going to see where it goes, man. It's hey, you know, it's a party. Yeah, can I, man. Can I just ask one thing about Paul Stanley? Just one thing. Sure. Is it true? Is it true that Gene had a trunk down in his basement that had a Polaroid of every woman he had slept with? <laughs> okay, that's about Gene, but yeah, but okay. that be in Paul? it did not come up yet in the book. But I can tell you that I didn't know that Paul Stanley was missing an ear. What? He's missing an ear. And he grows his hair long to cover the whole thing up, but when he was growing up, and it's like not only 
I mean, he's missing the actual ear part. He was born that way. Wow. And he has no hearing in that ear as well. That explains the music. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that hurts. Dude, come that on. Hurts. Some go- hey, <laughs> she's a dancer, a romancer. I'm a Capricorn and she's a Cancer. Uh, come on. You, listen, you can't set me up like that. It's like, you know, it's just like, you're just like walking, to just, you walk right over to, you know, a, a, some, a pool and you said, no one's going to push me in. I love it. This is like <laughs> yeah. being on, this is like being on Mike Douglas. See, <laughs> now, see, now I question having Sue over for a pool party now. Am I going to be walking by with a bunch of drinks? and go, hey, Sue, she's going to go, oh, push. Okay, hey, yeah, you should be invited yeah. to the pool party. I don't want to see you at a pool party. I don't know. I don't know. No one wants to see that. No. And why are you serving cocktails? We've got a staff. Right. <laughs> are you, are you, did you cast yourself in a Blake Edwards comedy? Like- no, I, I, want, I want people to be comfortable. I want, I want to, you know, I want You're you a giver. I understand. Yes. yes. So if Sue's over there standing by the pool, I go, I'd like to bring her a Manhattan or something, you know? A Manhattan? Some, uh, wow. Well, that's an or, wow that's my, that was my dad's drink. Was it? Yeah, my dad loved a Manhattan. Now, like- you guys all drink alcohol, right? Yes, Correct. ma'am. Okay, so yes. who, if you were to guess, do you guys know each other's favorite drinks? <gasps> huh, interesting. Really, That's a good no. question. Well, I don't no. know if I have a favorite, though. That's probably why for me. I, I, I know I know a couple that Sean, Sean got me into these for a while, and he likes them. I know he likes kind of girl drinks. Yeah, if you yes. say if you say Tranya, you're you're we're shutting you off. <laughs> I, I, I we're saying that. Some, yeah, we, so we want Tranya. <laughs> but uh, you know that we're getting Clint Howard next week. Yeah. That's where we're going to break out the Tronia. Yeah. You sure yeah. you want to see him on Zoom? Or you just- I do. I do. I <laughs> do, do badly. Do. Okay. Very badly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. But I, I, I just love the fact that I say sarcastic things and then Larry wants to make it right. <laughs> Every time I say something sarcastic, he goes, "No, that's not. I'm just going to make that right." <laughs> it's this. I, I don't want this anyone perfect, to be. It's this perfect. It's almost like jazz. The way this thing <laughs> yeah. unfolds. Look, I don't want any listeners left out there going, "Hey, you know." <laughs> It's like you know, hey, that's a joke, you know. Yeah, no, he's got, he's got, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, he's like standard and practices of like it, live action S and P. It's nice. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I know you like Matt. I think well, I know you like the Red Bull and I do like no. that. Red Bull and what, vodka. What? I love, I, I like that. but I, I like but that. not necessarily you like, Red Bull. You, I like Rockstar. He's a rock star guy. Rock star. Okay, and but uh, you had me pick up something brandy. You had me pick up something. Oh, and brandy, brandy. I love. I love brandy. That's my nighttime who, drink. Who drinks brandy? More, I make in, it in like a, a hot toddy. In a, in I make a it like a hot toddy. Uh-huh. My drink is wearing a little brandy. ascot. It's I do. I wear an ascot. Yes, I do. And a small <laughs> jacket. Yes. Well, you don't even need to be. That that could be. That's morning. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. like a. That's like a military dress uniform. It's already appropriate. All right. No, and I uh, I pet several cats at the same time, and uh, and I have brandy. It's brandy, water, cinnamon, cloves, and a little bit of a fruit juice, just a splash, and then I heat it up. Wow. Nice. Yeah. I don't know what I, it seems like a drink. And then I put on a dress. Is, okay. <laughs> I know, but living in Los Angeles and it's ninety-five degrees. That, that I, I see that at Christmas. I see that as a holiday drink. It's a okay, night thing. It's a okay. night thing. So, guys, so what is what is your cocktail choice? What is like your go-to? Larry, I'm just. I want to guess. I would like to guess who I what I think. I think you might be a beer drinker. Mm, no, I, I, the, the, the. Well, no, I'm not All really. Right. No, All right, one well, strike. I am. Go, do you want a second try, or do you want me to tell you? No, I want to tell you. I just, but I, I just wanted to try. You know, my brothers, my brothers are like, they're Mr. Beer guys. They like doing all kinds of samplings of different Mr. beers. Beer. And, yeah. And I'm not, I'm not like that, you know, um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll drink a beer if it's like given to me. And, and, you know, when I feel like, Hey, you, you don't know, want to be rude. rude. <laughs> no, no. And you don't want to be, you know, if you're watching. I don't want to be rude. I hate want, beer, but if someone you know, gives it to me, I will drink I it. I don't If someone throws it. it on stage. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll lap that shit up. I'll lap that if you up. Find half a bottle in a, an alley. You'll drink that. It's true. <laughs> what I like, what I like, is a, a mandarin vodka and cranberry. Ooh, oh, I remember that. that. Very elaborate. Yeah. Now that's like it. Now it, I love it because the mandarin vodka. It's got that hint of the orange in it, and I love that. And but then also 
if I want to like, hey, I need a little pick me up during a show or something, it would be a sugar free Red Bull with a Mandarin vodka. There you go. Oh, Everybody. so Red Bull would Red Bull goes with I don't know what anything Red Bull like. Pretty yeah, much, yeah, but but it's but yeah. it's like what's really cool, Sue, is now they have some different flavors. So there's a great little fruit punch Red Bull. Oh, but is that oh, that's the rock star diet, though, right? Though, huh? Is that, I, I, the, the the Red Bulls I see in different flavors who look enticing to me aren't diet. That I, that is correct. Which I that which is, is annoying. We have I to have no, Sue. You know we have what? to have Go. diet because we have to maintain the bodies yeah. that yeah. Well, work so you know, hard. If you're going to be sure. doing some cosplay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You want to be able to fit into your costumes. Yeah. And yeah. especially if you're going to be playing um, the Klingon devil, Feklar, which uh, he has no <laughs> shirt on. So, right. so so that was mine. Sean, what, what is your drink? Uh, lately, actually, what's the, uh, I never know how to pronounce it, the, the sparkling water, La Croix? La Croix? La Croix? La Croix? La Croix. Uh, L-A-C-R-O-I-S. It's, La Croix. it's called a. Uh, Cheap shit that's in every store. Yeah, La Cro- right. Croix. <laughs> so that's... La Croix. Seltzer. Seltzer. Yeah, seltzer. But it's flavored seltzer. So cranberry raspberry seltzer yes. with like vodka. Wow. You like pompanous? Yes, I uh, had that too. In, with that, wow. with vodka and a lemon and lime. It's good. Okay. All James. Right. <laughs> James. James. No, very that's similar. Good. Very similar. Um, seltzer, water, vodka, and apple cider vinegar. What? Vinegar. Apple, apple what is cider that? vinegar. Vinegar. What is that called? Is that just James's drink or? You know, a, a couple of months ago, I started a cleanse. Oh, and here we go. <laughs> like no, a, no, colon, no. a colon cleanse? <laughs> no, just, just all, all natural. and It's called the colon, the colon cocktail. Yeah. <laughs> he got this well, recipe from the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, you know, it's good to drink and kill your liver, but simultaneously be colon healthy. And that's what I, like, you know, you, <laughs> you're true. choosing, it's the yin yang of your organs. Exactly, exactly. No, I, I had to drink a lot of water and apple cider vinegar uh, just to stay like hydrated and, and their, um, it was, the properties of apple cider vinegar is supposed to be great. And then I just got used to it. At first I didn't think I could drink that much. And then it's like, oh, I wonder how vodka would taste in this. <laughs> so sure. it's, it's like, all right. Yeah, hey, that, hey it's a gravy. I wonder what gravy would taste in vodka. You know, I, you're love talking. I love it. It's like, you know what? I mean, there's cleanse. Just what else goes with it? Butter? Butter? <laughs> yeah. You know, I do a little apple cider vinegar and then sausage gravy. I yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, Absolutely. You, you know, you bring up a good point. Gravy and vodka. It's like, hey, <laughs> it's it's overlooked. Hey, yeah. Listen, when you make gravy, you I, you throw red wine in it, and it helps and does all this. That's you true. Cook the alcohol yeah. and burn it yeah. off. Anyway. True. A gravy spritzer. Uh-huh. All right. I think and, Matt knows my favorite drink. <laughs> Champagne cocktail. Nope. Um. Hang on. Hang on. Is it a dry martini? Yes. <gasps> hey. I do love martinis. Hey. I love martinis as well. And it's a gin yeah, martini, do. not a vodka martini. Okay. A gin martini. Gin martini. Yeah, not because a martini real martini. Gin that much. Martinis are made with gin. With gin. A, right, a, right. a martini is made with gin. Yes. Now, do you do like a little fruit? Do you do like an olive? Oh, you order? do oh, olive, you olive, guys, olive, right? You guys dress up your drinks. Yeah. Uh, all I'll like put like a little spaceman figure yeah, on it. Guys, you know, just the whole thing. You deal. guys dress up your drinks. You got, oh, I got a little mandarin this, a little this. <laughs> yeah. You just got gin, ice, and, and a glass. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's no, no too straightforward for me. That's just a little, no, I have to have olives. I, I have, like, of course I, you have to have this olives. This is the most boring conversation that's ever been had. No, no, no. <laughs> It's monster party, and people are gonna love this. They're and, finding and, out wow. things about us. And, and, and so wow. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, I like a little fanciness with my drinks. You know, like you know, like when, when you when you go out to eat, you know, and you go to sushi, and you get like a fancy little sushi piece. You know, and it's got all the <laughs> little, all the little like like let's just say California roll. You got the crab, you got the uh, the little seaweed, the little rice. It's little, like a work of little, art. Yeah, it's like you're a yeah, California a roll. If a is not sushi. No, but, it's a California true. adventure. Uh, uh, but I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> it, it is an adventure, really, when you think about it. It is an it's California adventure on a roll. All right, all but right. I, but I understand you like that. That that you like to you like like a you would like a seafood tower. I would. <gasps> yeah. Oh yeah. Sure. Oh my Who god! Look want at a that. Look at tower. Larry almost died. <laughs> I like to do what I like to do is I like to take a mackerel and then just fill that with vodka. 
Yeah, and gravy. <laughs> Use it as a flask. <laughs> so you get your sushi and your booze at the same time. Yeah, um, I, th- I think out of all the drinks, <clears throat> I'm going to say that the one that we should try next time I'm on, I would like to try everyone have James's drink because it <laughs> sounds so effed up. I don't even know I where to like start that. with it. I think we should do that, yes. You so be we seafood Tower. Oh, oh my oh. God, Larry's showing me uh, yeah. on the Zoom oh. his seafood I, tower. I don't think I want that one. <laughs> no, it, 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 it has, it has, it's got... That, crab and that lobster tower fell over whatever that i was already and, just and sat it had, on it it had it had like like little smoke like like steam stuff coming it was awesome anyway <laughs> yeah, so that's you know what, what that means that's to? old seafood you know <laughs> you know when i looked at it to my my first thought was oh my god it's it's little bits of ebra you know on <laughs> ebra is the uh shrimp giant shrimp Kaiju from Godzilla. So oh, bring, bring well, thank it back. You. Yeah. Look at bring that. It I back. love it. I love bring it back in. Okay. All right, I'm I, ready to go. I got a question for you guys. When are we going to start this? Yeah. <laughs> um, I have Down a question here. for you guys. And I was thinking about this because of a couple of specific movies that are that. Should we save this Wait, for the let's, show? Let's, let's, we, let's officially let's start, start the show. And then let's we'll go right in. Let's start our okay. question. Yeah. Okay. okay. So yeah, let's yeah. just do it. <clears throat> All right. We'll get right into it. Well, okay? don't 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 formalize it too much, but I was just trying to get us back on topic. Well, <laughs> <laughs> this this will do it. <laughs> and Sue, you know how it's done. You know, Matt. No, Warner. I don't, Larry. How does this work? <laughs> yeah. Now, actually, I've forgotten, Larry. Show. How do we do this? <laughs> Matt will introduce the show. Yeah, and, and I don't. Yeah, talk yeah. Until I'm introduced. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. the way. That's right. That's but that won't happen. Works. And then we'll go to town. As hey, Larry. you know we'll what? Go to Sue? town. Okay, Sue, you're Miss. I'm we'll Miss Show Runner. I know how it's all done. You know, I get that. But it's like if I didn't talk to you, yeah. I would talk to anyone. Yes. Like you are a professional, but just uh-huh. to let you know. Yeah. Because every once in a while, a professional will lose their head and they'll just, oh. out, 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 oh, you know, know, right in the middle. It's happening. They're awful. <laughs> but that won't happen with Sue because she is a consummate professional. That's she right. Is. So yeah, let's Larry, get going. Larry, Larry, I live for these moments to just <laughs> poke at you a little bit. I live for them and I apologize. I will sit back um, <laughs> and I will wait for my introduction. Or I'll just wait for your introduction. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should introduce her. <laughs> oh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, you, okay. you, uh, no you're going to introduce her, right? I'm going to introduce her. Are you going to no, do it? No, let's do it. Doing, let's I'm do going. It. I got to go. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Sue. Yeah, that was great. Hey. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> yeah, just, I got to go. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, get the lighting just right. <laughs> get okay. that lighting, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. Got to hit my. I got my headset on. Yeah. Awesome. Now that the light's just right, let's. No, uh, it's just that it's it's uh it's pretty outside right now. It is. It's pretty in here. Yeah, and I've got my garden and everything, and I'm just. I've got the uh, the infinity gauntlet. So. Cool. There is that. Yeah. By it the way, the, it keeps my marriage alive. By the way, Sean. Yeah. Uh, I didn't think I was going to see anyone who had more models than Matt, but you are. He doesn't have more models well, than me. It's not. It's action figures and toys more than models, but uh, it's also just in one concentrated area. So yeah, he doesn't have more than me. <laughs> Let's just throw that out there. Do, huh? do he does not have more than me. No, wait, wait. Can I ask a question? There's kind of a lot there, though. It's just he does DVD not have more than me. Back. Just like a little bit Matt, of Matt, this, this is not the moment to be defensive. We're in a pandemic, <laughs> and let's try to be nice to everyone. Um, you know what? I'm going to go out on a limb here, okay? Mm-hmm. And I know maybe this is going to cause a little controversy Every episode, here. you go on a limb. No, no, just <laughs> Sue, bear with me. Sean, Sean has an amazing collection. It's Thank taken you. him it's 15 it, years no, to be able it, to say this. An amazing collection, <laughs> and he has yes. many, many figures. Yes. However, as, we, as we all do. However, yes, yes. I look at my collection. How, yes. <laughs> However, I will say, I believe that Matt has more figures yes, than Sean so does. He yeah, has keep, keep in mind, though, that, 5, our, yeah, and it's also a combined, it's com- what behind me is combined myself and my wife. Yes. So that means he has even less figures. Yes. Yeah, so no, so you <laughs> lose. No, it actually means that she's, he's married to one of those figures. <laughs> um, now, if I look at James, I, it looks to me that you're in, waiting at gate 17 at LAX to get on that plane. Yeah, yeah. he's on do a you, personality cleanse right now. He's, James, uh, James, do you have action figures? I don't see any. Oh, yes, he does. I he's do. not allowed to have them out, though. Maybe I even do. more than all of us, but really? we never see them. 
Yeah, no, I think that there's like, you know how like in the movies, you, you have to pull back the rug and then there's a secret room under the house? Right, right. That's where he's got them all. But, but I mean, all of you have- he keeps them in his kill room. James, by the way, James just got really offended and he's left. Yeah. But James, James <laughs> leans toward monsters. Well, monster sci-fi. We're he all likes. Kind of... He likes. James likes uh, Godzilla. James Japanese Bond. stuff. James Pop- Bond. Popeye. Flintstones. Popeye. Flintstones. Popeye. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I've, got, I've, got, I've got one figure that none of the guys has, uh-huh. and probably never will have because it's Truman an Capote. exclusive, one of a kind, and it's a James Gonis. Cool. Figure. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's it nice. is awesome. Yeah, that's I... nice. I, I thought you were going to say figure. it was one of the Confederate generals that were taken down, but that's <laughs> that we went with that. Now Larry is a he creature. Does a lot of role Pooh. playing. Larry's a creature. He loves. That's right. Creatures. He loves the creature. Yep. Yes, yes, he does. Okay, Sean, you lean more into horror. Can have, I can be I, both. I mean, I have lots of Godzilla. Taste. Uh, lots of slasher stuff. Horror. Um, you know, lot, yeah, Godzilla. Lots of stuff, kind of across the board, to be honest. Yeah. And is and Matt the only one who really collects the Star Trek? Oh no, uh, no, we, we have some oh, Star no. Trek stuff too. I yeah. have, I have all of the original, and I mean original from 1976, classic Mego Star Trek figures, including the Telosian. Oh, uh-huh. really? Yeah. Yes. So and, what's your and address? And the Gorn. What is your address? <laughs> you know, you know, what, Sue, it doesn't matter. You're not going to be able to, f- what, you want to come over and steal the television? Wait, actually, you, you know what? <laughs> I, I, you're going to have to give me one. I know this is torture, but I have to get something out of my backyard for you. It's just- <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, we, we are so never going to start this show. So Matt, I should Matt, you, should I, do some I, of this. We should do some of this I, section I, after we do the introduction. I'm so oh. sorry. I, I'm so sorry. I, I, this, 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 could this, be, okay. this could be the only episode where the... The stuff at the end, the the bloopers are longer than the yes, actual show. Yes, it's been half an hour, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, you know, hey, we're all having a good time. It's, of course, that's, of course. Wait a minute. That's Did you know? Thing. I I just found out this was. Uh, you guys actually, Sean might know this. Um, what? you know, in the the famous uh, in the cage, uh, in the episode, the cage, right? The original episode. There's a shot. There's a shot when you first see the Telosians, and it's a shot looking up, and you see the main Telosian, and then there's a little Telosian behind her. Mm-hmm. And I, guess I just don't want to be left out. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Talking I'm about sorry. a Telosian scene. Okay. In the cage. Yeah. Soon, I'm sure. <gasps> oh, oh. A Gorn. Matt, Matt, where's your cup? Where's your cup? That's cool. I have a Gorn. Sue. And, is that, is that, and is that, is that, this is, uh, of course, another yeah. on Luke. We have oh, I love that one. Yeah, yeah. I love and that this, one. This Where's is, his um, helmet, though? It's, it's in the pot. He lives outside in the back of the oh, pot. Oh, cool. Awesome. These, these guys are all over my yard. That's wait awesome. And then <laughs> wait, wait a minute. You, you have your and then, figures in the backyard? Ruth Bader Ginsburg. <laughs> oh, my God. Where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> was that was that scene in the cage where That's Susan Oliver yes, turns into Ruth Bader Ginsburg? I'll put her here with Captain Kirk. Cool. But well, no, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, they sit in a pot, sits with the Gorn, and they hold hands in one of the <laughs> flower pots, and it's cool. Ruth Bader Ginsburg and the Gorn. So much like her relationship with Scalia. Yes. <laughs> managed to get no. over the differences no. that she had with the Gorn. This is my still <laughs> life of Soda, SCOTUS. See here, here. Here's the thing. If if you want to get into it, let's just say everyone thinks that the Gorn was a bad guy, and it's like, no, the Gorn was. They were just defending their space. That's true. They were. And the Gorn, when he was put, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, hey, don't you think you would be like that if someone came and took your planet? I might want to do some that. questions first before I started. Listen, attacking. whenever whenever the UPS man comes, I try to build a rudimentary gun from. Uh, <laughs> From elements that I can find in my yard. In your yard. <laughs> I'm being attacked. It's like, oh, are those diamonds in a pile? <laughs> as if diamonds. That's how well you're doing. My favorite thing is that diamonds, as if they're made, like they are made and they're just sitting in a pile. That was one of my favorite. <laughs> yeah, right. Everything is kind yeah. of in, in lumps. Yeah. yeah. Okay, look, I uh, Sue, the thing I love about you is your knowledge of Star Trek, and I love it. <laughs> and I'd love to get into that. What do you say we start the show now Let's and we start the episode. jump into it? All right. Well, I said, we don't have to go into Star Trek. I don't give a shit. No, about we that. need to go into Star Trek. 
Yeah. Because because you have let a, <clears throat> lit a fire underneath me right now, and I'm, fe- I'm feeling the heat. To start the right. show. I'm building a still life over here. Cool. Oh. All right, go for it. All right, for it. Here we go. A moment right. of silence, and I'm going to get this thing going. Greetings, everyone, <laughs> and welcome to a very spontaneous episode of. No, I want to do something different than that. And no, yeah. it was, no, I mean, honestly, it was really working for me, Matt. I'm just serious. I'm just, so what? Uh, I want you to look me in the eye and I want to say, you know, that was really working for me. I thought it was really good. <laughs> okay, here we go. You can oh, use hey, like, hey, it's hey, a wait crazy... A minute. What was, do you still want to do the thing you were saying, Sean, the reckoning? Yes. Oh, I know. That was just, that was that's just kind of funny. It's kind of funny, that's right? Funny. No, I yeah. loved it. Let's do I it. Yeah, let's do it. it. I want to do that. We yeah. can make, every time we do one, we can give a different I like it. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. See, that's why Sean right. is who he is. He that's is. Why he gets yes, the big that is why he is that's who he is. That's why I am the Larry, have I, Larry <laughs> have I been introduced yet? Larry, have I been introduced yet? No? Sue, we're almost there. We're going to get I there. I want to be a professional podcaster. It. I got it. I got it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's start. All right. Okay, right? Great. Is that my introduction? Works <laughs> <laughs> uh, every time. All right. Works every time. Sue, we're almost there. Just bear with me. Bear with us. Okay. It's you know just it's because we like you so much. You're just so casual. We just Larry, okay, let's go. You're killing me. Okay. <laughs> Greetings. One more time. I have to do it. Okay, go on. Sorry. I had to. It's it's the classic comedy three. Okay, no, it had to be three. It had to be done in threes. Yes. Uh, I missed you, Sue. I miss okay. you. Thanks for being with us. Greetings, everyone. Are you sure it's not fours? <laughs> comedy fours? Okay, I, I swear I won't do it. Just, I didn't know if that was it. I mean, I didn't know if we really knew it was a comedy threes or fours. Okay, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm all right. Okay, I got it. It's definitely threes. Oh, it's threes. Okay, thank you. I just wanted to clear that up. Does everyone have enough drink? Yes. Okay. <laughs> now we're done? Hey, now you're yeah. done. Yeah, yeah, we're done. Awesome. I just wanted to sell, you know, um, I told Matt this, uh, just because of being a comic and knowing a bunch of comics and have being in this history, I get asked to do podcasts. This is the only podcast I've ever done. Really? You said you did one other though, didn't you? I thought you did. I thought you did one other. Oh, uh, Karen Anderson asked me to Karen do Karen Anderson. Is that the well, food one? Karen Anderson is my, probably my closest friend on the planet. Sure, right, right. Which is, you know, and, I, and that's the one with Doug, right? Yeah. Uh, the food one. Yeah, they yeah, asked well, me to well, do that. But but it was like that, one of those things I said, well, you know, I don't do podcasts, Karen. <laughs> but they yeah, were in a that makes I, sense. I, I was I was feeling it a pinch. And they weren't happy. They weren't glad about that. <laughs> really? But now, because of being on the other side of the camera and things like that, I get asked to do these podcasts about television production and uh, things oh, like really? that. I could see yeah. that, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. And they go, I don't know. I don't know. But this is way more fun. Oh, yeah. it's a lot more this fun because Larry, I can just sit there and be, 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 be. <laughs> Think about it, though. We're eventually going to go on a little trip. We're gonna go out to the basket. He's serious, and I'm, and I'm, yeah. and, and you know, it'd be cool. No, no, it'd be cool. <laughs> Is this Matt Ward? He has like a Captain Kirk shirt. We get a little picture oh, yeah. out there, you know. Yeah. Hey, Sue, uh, Sue, Sue uh, I, my understanding is Matt like worked out and got kind of a big body build, building body back in the '80s. Do you have photos of him when he's all like? I've got, I've down? got a bunch of photos on that. I, I, I've sent. I've got. And I've got a bunch of stupid photos of Matt and I when we did industrial films together. So you know so, what? I should send you the one that where I was. We were playing. This is perfect for you guys. The X Files. Where I was just thinking that. Really? I've got. We've got this where we played the X Files. Sue, Sue I and I. Pictures. Sue and I did an industrial where we played Scully and Mulder. No. Oh, wow. And 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 I and I think I've got that industrial somewhere on a tape or something. We actually did a pretty good job of being Scully and Mulder. It was oh. so dumb, though. It's an industrial film. We had that moment where you had to go into a room and with flashlights, the flashlights to make and, the flashlights yeah, right. into a room and do that thing. I, I'll send you our Mulder uh, thing. I'll I send think, you some photos. I think I actually have like maybe two or three. Of, I'm I'm I, almost I know positive. I, sent, I know that, I sent you some in the past. Yes, and I think somebody else took them probably with your camera. 
Yeah, I, that, those are the ones. And one of the ones that I love is that if you guys, we were shooting this industrial, it was in the East Bay. We're in San Francisco. It was somewhere in the East Bay, which is, I don't know how much you know Northern California, but, you know, Hayward or the, the, whatever. We were in an area that was a drainage ditch. <laughs> yeah. It was a, it was like an industrial park. And then we went down into what would have been, it would be like going to the LA river. Right. Yes, exactly. And, and we were in a, you know, a, you know, some sort of thing of the LA river and this, this, because they were trying to make it like, you know, we were looking at stuff and we it's hot as hot fuck. as hell. Yeah. Hot as fuck. He's in a suit. I'm in a red wig <laughs> where I'm in a suit. Uh, and we've got these umbrellas over us. Just in film. No one gives a shit what's going on. I have a picture of he and I sitting there in our outfits with these horrible umbrellas. We're in a drainage ditch eating a sandwich. Just oh, like, I need to. See, I need to see that one. I don't know. I don't think I have that one. Yeah. <laughs> and and but I've got that red wig on and the whole thing, and we're just sweating like pigs for five hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> but we delivered. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I thought we did a good job. We were actors. Yeah, <laughs> I, I anyway. still have I still have the alien mask that they used in that. Oh, really? Because <laughs> they said go out and get some things, and I'm like, I know where to go. I forget where I went, but uh, <laughs> but I I came so back with a bunch of. You were not only actor, you were an art the prop, department prop person. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. And I brought back a bunch of stuff. Thinking, of course, at the end, I, I'm right there. I'm like you, Larry. I'm sure you would have done the same thing. You're like, so, uh, you, you know, are you guys going to do anything with this? Because, <laughs> yeah, right. of course, I want all of it, you know. Right, right, right. So me, yeah. Yeah. I can't believe you have it. I still have it, yeah. I got the oh. gr- big gray alien head. No, but I love, the, I mean, I love the fact that you even have the video of the, I don't have the, yes. I don't think I have the. I'll dig it although, out. Yeah, I'll dig it out. Okay, I'll send you some stuff. It's nice to see you guys. Nice to see you. We love nice you. To see you. Always. We love you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> yeah. I hope We're everyone's safe and sane. How yes. California is not fun. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. know. We'll, we'll get through it. On that note, grab some lube and anything goes. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> That's it. Grabs, grabs yeah, some yeah. Lube. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> have your own. Have your own anything goes party and grab. A good and amount bring, of lube or and something. bring lots of lube. Yeah, and bring lots of lube. 